Steve. It does. It does heat the water as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Look that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. That is, yeah, that's definitely something. All right. Let me bring this up. Are we live? We are live. We're 14, live. We're, we're live. On stage. Hi. We live? Hi, everybody. Hi. But we, okay, whose dad joke is it this week? We gotta have a, a good one. So I have a good um, one. Where do nieces and nephews come from? Hmm. I don't know where. I don't know where. Ant holes. Oh my god. And we cue the show. Guess what day it is, huh? Anybody? Julie, hey, guess what day it is? Oh, come on, I know you can hear me. Mike, 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 what day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo! Oh, look at this. We're all here. Everything's working. It actually worked fine. I let it go to the proper place, and I'm really happy. Grant's not here. He's kind of turning down below, but that's okay. Welcome to episode 98 of the Midweek Hump. I appreciate everyone bearing with us tonight. Had a little date night with the wife. Had a couple of cocktails, so I'm a little loosey-goosey. So if anyone wants to take advantage of me, hey. Uh We going topless? (laughs) Maybe. We don't need to get cocktails in you to take advantage of you. Let's Listen, you play your cards right. Anything could happen. <laughs> Anyways, um, great, <laughs> great to see everybody this week. Um, Brown Lena Bull is joining us this week for episode 98. We are closing in on episode 100. Brahma, are you going to Vegas, by the way? Yeah, I'm going to oh, be there. Sick, dude. I'll be there I'm... Wednesday through Monday. Nice. I actually, I got, I'm getting there a date earlier, so I'm going to be there Tuesday through Friday. So, um, I can't spend too much time. It's expensive staying in Vegas through the weekend. Like it jumps so quick. Um, but yep, that's why we're staying Monday to Friday. I've got yep. a built-in timeshare, so it's just points. Oh, oh bro! Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> in fact, I've got a mini suite, so I've got a living room. I've got a big screen TV in the living room and the bedroom Ooh. and a kitchenette, so we can. We can hang at my place when there's no nothing else to do. We could even do a stream from there if uh, Salty Nerds or Salty, is it Salty Nerd Podcast? Yeah. Yep. If their if their studio is booked and we wanted to do something, hell yeah. Um, we're gonna we so for those who don't know, Thursday is gonna be episode 100, and we'll be at the Salty Nerd Podcast. Uh, so we're hoping to get we're hoping to get kind of what we did last year, just kind of people filtering through and sitting down with us and chatting with us. I haven't confirmed how long we have, but I know we have some time in there. So I'm going to talk with Matt Kadish a little bit and kind of lock down a time. Uh, but you can, we'll, we'll be at the meetup on Wednesday for sure. Thursday, we'll probably hang around outside, do things on Fremont or whatever. We'll f- kind of figure it out. But um, I'm down that way. Um, I know Amarada and Sheep, you guys are on Fremont as well. Uh, Brahma, he's got a fucking time share. Um, and then, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Jesse, where are you staying while you're out there? Golden Nugget. Oh, you're staying, you're staying down there too. Okay, cool. Oh, is that where horror and them are staying too? Yes. Yes. Oh, cool. dope. Well, if everyone didn't know, now they do. 
So. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fremont Street, sorry. I didn't, it's a no, big fucking hotel. Here on Fremont Street, doesn't matter. Right. Um, long ass street, I don't know. Is it, it's a long street? Yep. Um, I'll be at the Stratosphere. I'm staying at the Stratosphere. So, dude, I got, I got, I got uh, 22 bucks a night. Did somebody uh, already address Shag's nice. audio sounding like really? Yeah, Shag's is hot. Yeah, is it hot? hot? Extremely hot. Yeah, you're a little Why? Insane. I don't know. You were fine before we went live. That's weird. I'll turn my mic down a little bit. Let me know if it's well, too you can low. Turn yourself down in uh, in EV mugs too. Is it? It's got a slider. Oh. Maybe easier than messing with the mic. Let me know how that is. is that a little better. Feeling okay? Getting there. Sounds uh -huh. good. <sighs> Fucking hey. um, Jesse do it. Isn't he a producer? He is. <laughs> yeah, but it's, he can it's, touch it's, the can slider. Can I even do that on his thing? Yeah, I can punch. I, oh, I can punch his slider. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> touch my slider, baby. Stop. Mm -hmm. How's that? Is that better? <clears throat> I don't know. He's Speak, not talking. Shags. <laughs> hello, hello, <laughs> hi. If he talks. Hi, I'm the, I'm the Shagsworth. I I check my audio because it sucks and it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still. Is it's it too much? Rough. I had a. I think it's your gain that popped into yeah. my head there, and I I barely stop myself from saying it <laughs> because I don't know how your wife would have felt about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, when I said it sucks and it's hot. <laughs> I was going to say it sounds like your wife. <laughs> She's been fine with that. Yeah. I, I didn't even, I haven't even touched my gain. I don't even like, honestly, like, like, a, like this is, is this. Yeah. Wookie, Wookie yeah, saying I'm that really, echo effect now. Yeah. Wookie saying I'm really quiet too. And I'm like, I'm maxed out on the back end of EV mugs. I mean, saying everyone's quiet. Apparently. I can turn yeah. us up a little. How's that? Well, if everybody's quiet, that good. means he just needs to turn up his volume. In that case, I'm going to turn myself back down just in case. No, everybody's maxed their shit out. Fuck it. I've done that. Yeah, People that's what I'm like talking me about. Much. We do it live. No. Well, mine is live. pretty. Mine's pretty low now. Like this should like as far as I'm concerned on on my audio board. I mean, this looks good. I'm low in my headset, so that's kind of weird. But sound fine to me now. Oh, yeah, I sound okay. Chat. Oh, I yeah, sound okay. Better than what it did before. Okay. You're definitely a lot quieter than what you were before. That's for sure. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Do it live. This fucking thing sucks. <laughs> um, I love how being the guest on this show, it's like I've been on this panel so many times that it doesn't feel like being a guest. It's just like, guest. Eh, let's just jump back in. All right. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much kind of what we do. Yeah. I will say, like, there's there's things I like about EV Mux and there's things I hate about <laughs> EV Mux. And like, I'm not convinced. I, I I'm not convinced this is ready yet. I mean, there's. I feel like it needs a little bit more work, or even like. It's like they're trying like, to. It's like they're trying to do their own thing while also parroting someone uh, something else. Right. Like, like the, like some of the features seem too much to handle. Like when you have like the the chat on the side, it like slows everything down. The stinger yeah, transitions really can be too much sometimes for it to load. Like Streamyard just seems to have everything kind of dialed in. But I would like some of the features from this in Streamyard. Does that make sense? <laughs> oh, OBS yeah, Streamyard. Streamyard Streamyard's whole weakness right. is that like it it has terrible connection. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean but, terrible? Yeah, connection? but EV Mux chews up bandwidth too. Yeah. It does. Yeah. I have I have friends of mine that when I was using EV Mux, they wouldn't turn their camera on because it would just it would just drain their internet so bad. Like, it would just glitch their camera out and everything. I honestly, I switched back to StreamYards back as soon as the API for the where for the Rumble, being able to highlight Rumble's chat, as soon as I got that back in, I switched back over to StreamYards because I love the customization of EV mugs, but mm. it's just too much. It's because then if I have to have somebody else run my stream or something like that, it's just there. They have, There's a learning curve to this and... Yeah, I just switched back over. So, because I can highlight Rumble Chat and the Rumble symbol actually shows up too. Your little um, avatar actually shows up. We're on EV Mux. The Rumble ones don't show up. Oh, weird. They do for me. I do see. But I use that. a plugin. Yeah. I do see that, oh, well, um, see, that's different. I'm talking about the actual system itself. Yeah. Wookie Be Bad gifted five Shagsworth memberships. Yes. Fucking awesome, dude. Thank you so much, brother, for the, uh, for the support. Uh, that's we we try and do a, a five goal and you hit it right away so goal met and everything Wait, we had else. a goal 
I, I liked, I liked, I just been saying like five is the goal for the live streams uh, for the mm -hmm. midweek hump. And yeah, I, it, I guess it wasn't official, but you know, <laughs> but thank you for being that unofficial goal. Appreciate it, man. Um, what's been going on guys? Well, how, how is it? How's everyone been? Brahma, let's start with you since it's been a minute since you've been here, even though you're pretty much like an honorary panelist anyway. Yeah. How have you been? I've been doing pretty good. Uh, it's been a busy day today. Um, uh, I worked from eight until five, and then at five I did the Christian panel with Carrie. Then we did yelling at parked cars, and now I'm here. So it's been like nonstop today. But uh, overall, doing pretty good. Uh, bourbon and boarding's been going well on my channel, and uh, we've been doing party animals, which uh, horror participates <laughs> in every Tuesday night. Nice. And we have a good time doing that because, uh, yeah, we we're a bunch of trash talkers. Oh so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except for the one or two who aren't. <laughs> Yeah, Chad doesn't know how to uh, trash talk, and I think uh, I think Mad's actually talk. scared yeah. too. Really? <laughs> Mad Mad's not as trash talky as I would have thought he would be in gaming, but he He's he does fun. not like silence, so he is no. constantly talking. <laughs> Can't have the awkward sure. silence, the comfortable silences. Yeah. But yeah, everything's been going pretty good. Uh, the Christian panel's been uh, very successful. We do that every other Wednesday now. So that's nice. on Carrie Smith's channel, and it's been good. I don't know why I thought that was on Friday, but was it? did you guys do it on Friday at one point or no? Or I, I think not. we did the very first one on a Friday because oh. that was when everybody was able to get together, and then we kind of just carved out Wednesday, early Wednesday, to make it a permanent thing every okay. other week. So. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, common nerd, you've been, uh, you've been gone for a couple weeks, just kind of, or I guess a week or two, right? Just kind of, well, I think it was what you didn't have one the week before. And then mm -hmm. I missed last week. Right. That's right. what it's been. Yes. That's what it's been. How have you been, sir? I've good. Busy, busy, busy. Just had some family drama stuff go down last week, but that looks like that should all be water under the bridge now. So hopefully we don't have any issues with that going forward. Good. Um, grinding and growing back again on YouTube. The above freaking, I guess once you figure out how to do the algorithm stuff, it's pretty easy to get videos over for way more viewers than what you have subscribers. Um, so that stuff's been blowing up. It's probably also helpful that the news has been going crazy. So I'm like, I think I'm two subscribers now from 210 over there. Nice. Um, like that jumped up like over a hundred in just like the last couple of weeks. That was kind of wild. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm five away from 700 over there on Rumble um, as well. So if you haven't come follow me, come follow me on Rumble. Um, had a great show tonight, hanging out with all the boys and all the crew going on, talking about all the craziness going out in the world. Um, and uh, other than that, oh yeah, I finally... I'm very proud of myself and Grant when he's here will probably show this off because it was a collaboration between Grant and I both Grant and myself and Sunker Maiden aka Serenity Two Witches we do um, when who was good on Sunday nights and Grant wrote us this really badass super earwormy like catchy intro AI song for the Doctor Who show mm -hmm. and then I put together a little I put together a, a bunch of little pictures and clips and stuff in the damn thing so I we have it's like it's an actual music video now it's the song is fucking great my edit might be shit but the song is fucking great grant did an incredible job so i'm super excited about all that and i'm excited to go to vegas so yes. i wasn't sure if i was gonna be able to go because we got a wonderful got a wonderful text message from our uh, landlord last wednesday that we now have to move by may 31st uh -huh. what? yeah cool. yeah so that's gonna suck so we got to figure out somewhere new to go and funds for all of that kind of stuff so come hang out on my streams and donate because i could use the cash mm. <laughs> yeah so yeah, because I didn't think I was going to end up being able to go to Vegas, and then one of my supporters was like, oh, no, here, we're, we're making sure you still go to Vegas. So, yeah, so I'll see you guys there. Yeah, Hell yeah, dude. Sweet. Uh, um, awesome. No, we're excited. Um, on that note, too, I did – so any any help you guys can give, like, all of us, you know, um, if you're if you're able to, I sent the, the stream elements link. It, it helps with, uh, with direct, like, the direct through – um, through stream elements helps a little bit easier. I think everyone probably has a direct link, um, mm -hmm. generally on their channels. Those help us in the moment, um, carry us through, you know, fun spending time buying drinks. But, um, if you can, I, I hate doing asking and I feel really awkward doing that. And I think I'm just going to go shoot myself in the face now. All right. Um, have fun. Goodbye. Uh, it was awkward. Oh, it was awkward. Okay. He makes it, he makes it more <laughs> awkward. Um, yeah, YouTube I, I, takes 30%, Rumble takes 20%, Twitch 
kick and like stream elements are the best, I think. Yeah. Um, but no, I, like I said, I, I really appreciate everyone hanging out and, um, I'm, I'm so, I, I can't even tell you how excited I am to, to hang out in Vegas, dude. And, um, my first time too. To it'll Vegas? First, it'll be my, it'll be my, well, that won't be my first time to Vegas, but it'll be my first meetup. Oh, okay. It's this will actually fun. be my first one. Do you know, yeah, know Tom and Flamingo. Andre are coming? Ooh, oh, Tom's going to get out of, with, with, out of his state? What? Tom and Andre is coming from across the pond from Atta what yeah. I've really heard. Oh, Tom yeah. Jack, huh? That's Tom awesome. Dre. Oh, that'll be dope. Yeah. That'll be dope. There's a There's lot of, I mean. It, a lot I'm, of people going to this one. I was impressed at, impressed at how fast that was. I was impressed. impressed. I am impressed. Um, how impressed. quickly that event sold out to members. Like, I mean, that, that didn't happen. Excuse me. That didn't happen last year, right? Like everyone got in last year i, I don't I think we've well, ever actually did breach the limit but it's not like they really ca kept it to that number right um, yeah let's let's not get in trouble with the fire marshal let's just put it that way oh okay like, oh, I'm just yeah. <laughs> i don't think you can get in trouble if the people are out on the street but right yeah uh, yeah, of course, because they're because the overflow the the overflow is always out on the street. There is never more people inside of the building than there is capacity. There are con they are constantly doing head counts. They're swapping people out to make sure they're never over capacity. Don't worry, far fire marshal. We are completely and totally in compliance with everything you require. <laughs> and there's a ninety percent chance I'll just be standing outside because large crowds give me panic attacks anyway. Yeah, that, that place is pretty jam packed. Um, yeah, like. It was like it was pretty much shoulder to shoulder in that bar area, except for like by the screen and everything. Like there was some seating that was fine, but the bar was like was pretty crammed. And then like the sort of like meeting zone, that line was the side room. Yeah, that side room was pretty was was pretty uh, pretty tight, toit like a twigger, um, like a twigger. Like, um, but uh, but yeah, um, Amarada, what have you been up to over the past week? Uh, well, I started a video channel, finally. Uh, Whoa. I am, now have a video channel called The Abyssal Critic, where I, right now, it's just one video a day where I pick something that I want to talk about, and I try to go for at least five to six minutes, and then I um, edit out my my retardation and <laughs> that's why i have to go for five six minutes because i want to make sure there's at least three minutes of material left yep. and then uh yeah I, I upload it and you guys can can watch it if you want to they're looking good i like them you're doing great with those i'm not not at all disappointed in how they're doing especially for only being what four or five videos into it so mm -hmm. yeah i um those no, I, and I really like your intro too. Is that, did you have someone make it? No, um, I made that myself. Oh, that's all, really? That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> I just oh. found an Adobe uh, thing with the background, put my name in, and then picked music. That wasn't. Well, it looks awesome. So great job. Um, and the video, like I said, the videos I, I'm really liking. So really good. Um, Sheep, what have you been up to, sir? I've been peddling Yaira. I've been drawing a manga. I've been playing um, Dragon's Dogma. How I've seen some of your tweets. The I'm hearing two different things about those microtransactions. Are they are they something that people should be critical of or no? Or they're, I, they're, they're like. The, the issue is people are looking at the microtransactions in a vacuum. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, microtransactions, automatic zero. Um, that's that's a terrible way to look at any product in general. Um, all of the microtransactions minus maybe the sound uh, thing, where you can change the audio to the original like soundtrack from the first game. Yeah. Everything else you can find in a game. You can, you can find in a game by playing the game. Okay. So like the wake stones... Um, the camping kits, the um, what are they called? The uh, the rift crystals and stuff like that. Yeah, all of that stuff is just basic for people who are lazy. Okay. Like, oh, I don't uh, lazy people and journos who have like who who are gonna skip out on their cat food for the week. Um, <laughs> those people are the ones that are shelling out money for those microtransactions. Otherwise, you can buy the game as it is and be you, you just have an absolute blast with it. 
Okay. I um I've actually started playing the first one because I've never again because I haven't beat it before and didn't I never like I don't know I've never been able to get into it and I don't know why but I am it was like because I didn't own it but it was five bucks on like the humble store so I grabbed it started playing it again because I want to play the first one and then I'm going to play the second one I'll probably pick up the second one once it uh once it goes on sale um, well you so probably have the same kind of um the same kind of uh i guess start that uh, that uh amrata had when she first like started and that it's like it's very winded like the beginning is very uh what what did you say specifically or not specifically but what did you say slow yeah it, basically the first it starts one, yeah. <laughs> it starts relatively slow like it once does. you get to the uh let's see you get out of the um you get out of the first um town casardus then you get to the stronghold where you fight the high you fight the cyclops then you fight the hydra and then you get to grand soren and once you get to grand soren it's pretty much you do whatever you want go fight griffins and die fifty thousand times yep. um die to a flock of harpies <laughs> somehow you got to a dragon and you died that's cool you do all that stuff mm-hmm but um yeah that's when the game like opens up opens up otherwise it just kind of got you going through like the the general unnamed tutorial yeah yep that that i can i I definitely notice and maybe that was like like ramping through that when i first played it years ago was kind of like ah like but now that i'm i'm just playing it in like kind of slower spurts and I know once I get to the more like open world parts, it'll feel a little bit better because yeah. it is like it controls well, especially for an older game and it holds up. Um, well, that's one of the things that uh, that's one of the things that makes it one of my favorite or my favorite game video game of all time. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess next to the sequel, since I'm enjoying the sequel so much more, is that like the combat feels like you're actually fighting these giant creatures like fighting a harpy. You're strategizing fighting a harpy. The same thing goes for uh, fighting Cyclops and ogres and stuff like that. Like, there are different ways to fight these, like, these monsters and stuff. You don't get that same kind of feel from, like, Skyrim or something like that. Everything, right. you're just running up and you're swinging your sword for the most part. True. Or you're casting magic. This game, it's like you have to actually, like, hang back because they'll do, like, goblins will pull pack tactics and they'll gang up on you. Wolves will snatch you away from your group and shit like that. Like, they actually do things that are, like, that make it feel like you're you're engaged with the fight. Okay. Um, oh God, who, <laughs> he looks like a bowler. I, every bowler ever. <laughs> you just came from bowling. <laughs> yeah, I just I just just got back. I just got a two seventy eight, my highest score ever. So uh, oh, yeah, damn, nice. Go the ten pins. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know how no, to bowl. He's completely so. and totally lying. I, I knew it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shags disappear. Yeah. Why did Shags disappear? I see him. I, I still see Shags. Shags. He's yeah. right there. What weird. Say? That's all right. When I come on, she's only got eyes for one man. I get it. I have that effect. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Tentacles for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Brahma. I think it's your move on chess. Have you made a move yet? <laughs> what are you doing, bro? No, no, I'm waiting. I, I, I looked this morning and you hadn't done it yet. So. What? I haven't moved yet? Are you kidding? All right. I'll do it now. I thought I started a game with you. Yeah, Damn. I've started like three games. So that way we don't get it. <laughs> oh, okay. For those who don't know, I started playing chess. I want to learn how to be like really good at chess. And I don't know if Grant's good or not. I'm sure he's like great, but I suck at chess. So we'll see. We'll see if he tosses my salad here. Um, my son joined a chess club and now go. kicks my ass at chess. <laughs> yeah, I like, like the thing is like when, when you uh like when you die, you're still going to suck at chess. So why are you still playing? Mm. I don't know, man. I <laughs> Fucking just piss yeah, right, all over dude. his fucking hopes and dreams. No, I Damn, piss on dude. everybody's yeah. hopes and dreams except for my ladies. <laughs> I don't. I think it's quite the opposite. That's why you're a okay, Sidian. I think yeah. that I want to. I want to do. I wanted to play chess because it's something I could play in real life, and then it's something I could play online and not feel like because well, I'm still using my brain. Like sometimes I sit down, I'll play a game. I'm like, what did I just gain from that? All I did was like shoot stuff for like two hours. But with like chess, I can get up there, like go head to head with somebody. And if I win, then like, oh, I, I overcame something. I'm like doing this whole puzzle, you know, I don't know. 
Well, it's it's just basically competition for them. Is it's strategy, yeah, versus yeah. strategy, yeah. Um, but th- that's one of the reasons I play a lot of like single player games mm-hmm. is because if you're playing a single player game, you're actually you're not having to worry about like you know engaging like keeping other people entertained and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, like like all the games that I play, like I remember almost everything from them. I want to, I want to document my chess journey because, like, you could be really bad. Like, I, I I know where I am now, but I would love to see where I am in like six months if I if I do puzzles every day and like play a game. Because what I used to do was play, um, I used to play rapid. So it was 15 minutes. You play a game for 15 minutes. Uh, the timer ticks down, but you get you every time you make a move, another 10 seconds goes on the clock, basically. But it's like it's quick. Like you, you, don't, you never run out of time then. No, the no, I'm sorry. It no, no, you're you're if you sit there, so you have to sit there and your clock will tick down. You make the move. So if, if a minute goes by, you just get another 10 seconds after. So it's like 50 seconds went by. Does that make sense? No. I'm pretty yeah, sure that's how it goes. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, that's what they do in like Central Park in New, yeah. in New York or in Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. That you would so have, yeah, you like, had a like, time clock set there. Where you yeah. tap it after you uh, make your move, and it, the clock shifts over to the other player. So yeah, maybe it's uh, I don't I don't know exactly. Typically, but, it doesn't add time. It it literally just yeah, just it time. just pauses usually. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it just pauses back and forth. Pauses that yours and starts their timer. Time. Yeah, I played. I played at a speed tournament, which was a four and a half minute tournament. Um, so it was it was quite rapid, and I won the first three rounds. But then I realized that the only ones that were left were all Asian, and they were all under the age of sixteen. So I knew I was fucked. <laughs> so, I'm just yeah. gonna push my king over now, and I wish yeah. you win. You just see all but the, 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 like, the, you know the young the young four year old that beat me ended up winning the whole tournament. So I didn't feel Oof. so bad. <laughs> it's like you see the three, you see the three Asians, and you're like, you know what? I won in my head. You just walk out. Yeah. Hey, I just I, I remember walking out going last wide he's standing. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddy. E. Clay Thompson says competitive chess isn't fun. It's all about memorizing moves. Yeah, I I don't know. Like I don't I don't think I necessarily want it to ever be like in competitive chess, but because I thought, oh, it'd be cool to like have like to play consistently at like eight hundred, like a level, eight hundred level, and then just kind of like I would be, I would be happy and consider myself successful if that if I can get my chess.com ranking to a consistent eight to nine hundred, that would be fine with me. Uh, so I have a funny story about chess tournaments. Yeah. So the only time I have ever done a news article over a competitive chess tournament was there was accusations of cheating inside of a competitive chess tournament. Now, they were never actually able to prove his cheating until like a later on competitive chess tournament, but the internet got a hold of this. And it went from this guy cheated and everybody was pissed off to it as to how that he was actually using a vibrating butt plug to be oh, communicated the I've next move yes. by somebody else. Yes. I've yes. Talk, did, talking about my man Nyman. Yes, I did it. I ended up doing two videos over it because there was a follow up later on down yeah. the road because we found out he did actually cheat, but obviously it wasn't with the vibrating butt plug. But yeah, but he, well, he literally he offered to play naked. <laughs> the best part about it is the next tournament he played, they were scanning his ass with a metal detector, <laughs> a wand. He he ended up he ended up suing um, Chess dot com and the guy who yeah. accused him, which is the world's number one uh, guy, uh, Hans. Um, and he ended up set. That was a hundred million dollar lawsuit, but they ended up settling for an undisclosed amount. Um, but yeah, all accusations have been uh, dropped and everything like that. The cheating that he did was when he was fourteen. He was playing online and said that he was sixteen. So he lied about he lied about his age. So he they want him, him to lose all the all the again. money. Yeah. Yep. So it's better than a butt plug, but. <laughs> Seriously, who sits and thinks, oh, yeah, he's cheating. It must be a butt plug. Dude, that way, Reddit got a hold of it, dude, and Reddit just went wild. Like, they went nuts. Well, he, went, he, went on, he, went on, he went on Pierce Morgan to defend it as well. <laughs> his lawyer. <laughs> it's probably been done in poker. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely been done in poker. And blackjack. I mean, yeah. Yeah. 
there's a lot of signaling that goes on with the Grant, apparatus. I don't want to play against you now. Damn it. What? Knowing you're in like a competitive like chess tournament, I don't want to play you, dude. Nah, you'll be right. <laughs> He lost to an Asian. What are you worried about? Come on. Yeah. Act like act act like you've got white privilege for Christ's sake. The problem is I'm too he competitive. Did. That's why the Asians won. <laughs> I get too mad at myself over think like I shouldn't get mad at myself over chess, but like I will because I'm like, oh, I'm just I'm competitive and I want to be good at it. And when I when I suck and I make a stupid move, I'll be like, God damn it! <laughs> Throw my phone. But. Don't join us on Party Animals on a Tuesday night, then. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, yeah. No, I, <laughs> I got to nope. join for one of those. I got to join for one of those. Nope. Um, Grant, what have you been up to, man? Uh, just playing chess. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been challenged <laughs> by one of my friends who's really competitive. Um, so I've been going there. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've managed to get my um, my 1,200 score up to a 1,600, so-ish. So um, 400 short of being a master. Um, so... I'll get there eventually. Damn. Or I'll, or I'll buy a bunch of anal beads. I don't know which one to get me there first. So, um, you can do both, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I could do both. If I get one, I get the other. So, <laughs> yeah, I've just been, been, been hanging out with doing, doing a stream with Grizzy um, where we've been going through people's shill reactions of like Star Wars content. And it's it's very painful, but it's 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 still a lot of fun somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, apart from that, yeah, just been hanging out with uh, people, been spreading democracy like a, a good citizen. I'm not a super <sighs> citizen like Brahma, but I'm a citizen nevertheless, so uh, <laughs> I've been enjoying it. Nice. Um, yeah, man. I uh, this I've been I've been wanting to get back into Helldivers. I played a little bit this a couple days ago, and like I played like a like maybe three or four rounds, but I just I don't have a lot of whole, whole lot of time to. Uh, and you want to get like the higher tier missions, you got like three missions to do. I mean, that's like two hours easy right there. Yeah. 45, 45 minutes of mission. If you're getting everything on that map, um, game but, choose up time. It does, yeah. but it's fun. It's really like fun. It, it's, so it depends. Fun. If you're worried about XP, just do, do the lower missions and do yeah. it quicker. Like yeah. the, the difference between a level two and a level nine XP is about 150 XP. If you do the mission. Really? But it's, yeah, literally, if you do the base mission. But the difference is you can do that same mission five or six times in that 40 minutes Somebody's instead of just doing it. the one mission once. Oh, okay. Grant was just slapping boost, so. was talking back to him. It's it's funny because I'll, I'll say to myself, like, oh, like, I don't I don't really feel like playing Helldivers right now, and I'll play something else. But then the next time I play Helldivers, I'm like, why the fuck didn't I play this? This game is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good and fun. Do you, do you prefer fighting the bugs or the bots? It doesn't matter. Both are both are fun. The if I'm up for a challenge, the bots for sure. Um, but the bugs, I think, are just fun. Like they're just fun if you want to get in there and just kick ass. They're not um, as overwhelming. The the bot. I mean, the bots require more coordination and like you the um, the stratagems like the smoke and the EMP are much more useful. Like I mean, that's what you're using those for basically, like to kind of blind them so you can escape. But I I find the bugs more fun to like to just be silly with I guess you know with with the strategy and some stuff. But there's yeah. a lot of little Easter eggs that they hidden. I was um we were, we were doing a run on Malevolent Creek um and we picked up a transmission. It was the um uh the bad guys basically saying that once we wipe you guys out, you know what's going to change for humanity? Nothing. We're going to go we're going to go to all these planets that you've invaded we're going to repair it we're going to go home and then we're going to leave you alone you started this but until then i think it was steel and heart we kill from the start or something like that it was a little poem that they did and i was just like holy shit so i'm <laughs> like cool. and then i and, and then i was like are we the bad guys no, and then i remember the the, i, I the remember guys? the storyline is we're hunting the bugs because we want their oil yeah out of their skin so <laughs> yeah, yeah. we're farming the bugs basically on yeah. those planets for their oil yep yeah. uh, no, it's it's a beautifully crafted game, I think, between like the game mechanics and the storytelling that's just sort of hidden in these little like Easter eggs and everything. Um, I'm glad it's, it's pissing it, people off and it's built on like a fifteen year old engine as well. I'm surprised how well really? it works. Yeah, it's it's I mean it's it is it is buggy in certain things, but it's um yeah, it's I I think for what it is, it's it's a lot of fun, it's good and um it's captured the it's captured the imagination of uh 
uh, of the gaming world at the moment, and I don't hear anyone talking about Power World anymore. So, no, right, no nope. Power World an update. Except for Sheep, he he's got like two pals left, and then he's completely done with that game. I think. Oh, I haven't. Oh, I haven't, but then Dragon's Dogma come out and destroy their all their credibility with one yeah, fucking game. Much. Like I haven't I haven't touched Power World in like a couple weeks now. He's really? Yeah, he certainly like... hasn't touched it since Dragon's Dogma came out. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a definite. Um, I haven't opened Power World primarily because like I've been drawing shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was like, yeah, I, I really don't have much time to just be like gaming as much as I used to. And then Dragon's Dogma told me that I was wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, one of the things I like about Helldivers too is it's so easy for your friends just to jump in with you too. Like it's Fuck stupid. Yeah. Friends. Easy. That's like, why I play single player like, games. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, you're an antisocial. You're an antisocial bigot. That's why. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but he's the blank. My like, man. Yeah, yeah, you just throw on the stream. Like, you, you, as soon as you turn on a game, it's like uh, you get met, like as soon, people just start jumping in. It's like, oh look, you're on. Yeah, let's start playing. Yeah, and everyone starts jumping in. I fucking love that shit. So. <laughs> fucking, that's a blast of a game. I'm trying to get to level twenty five so I can get so I can purchase that me- big Patriot mech suit. I'm Her- I'm like a few XP away from it. So, are right, yeah. Nice. Our biggest issue is we've got too many guys for. I mean. We could make two or three fire teams. Yeah. Oh yeah. Easy. Yeah. yeah. And somebody oh, always feels left out. Mm-hmm. And then they get upset. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's the biggest bummer for me. Is like I well, I like I love playing the game, but the the time I can put into it, I can usually get more done in other games. Like, so that's that's because i basically have the most time i have for a game is like after like tomorrow after ready set shag or like maybe on a sunday afternoon uh and that's pretty much it like i don't really reserve much time for gaming anymore but hell divers is so much fun it just takes up too much time yep i'm i'm into the big top down stuff what's that i said you should do it for democracy i know i know drink some liberty while you're at it but the I just what was I just picked up two I picked up that deep uh, deep rock survive deep rock galactic survivor game and then another game called Tiny Rogues which is basically like it's another those both are like vampire survivors uh, halls of torment uh, it's just a sort of top down um, RPG roguelike. and but the deep rock galactic survivor one I already liked deep rock galactic and then having that and that single player setting where you're just killing bugs again and you're just making your guys super powerful. Like I can do two or three runs in an hour and a half or in like, it's just more satisfying. Uh, I don't know. Gaming. It sucks to say like the gaming part of my life is like, like slowing down at this moment, which kind of, it bums me out, but offers more time for the family. So it's not, not a complete waste, obviously. Yeah, it doesn't come back around. Well, I I think my great when it comes to gaming is not so much that it's slowing, like it's I'm having less time, mm-hmm. but more of just the direction of the industry at, at, at a, as a whole. Like I yeah. haven't been excited for a game since Ghost of Tsushima, and before that was Monster Hunter World. You were excited for Dragon's Dogma too. Yeah, I know. I I but the game just came out, so I don't count it. But um. Yeah, it was Dragon's Dogma 2, Ghost of Tsushima, and um, and um, Monster Hunter World. Before that, I didn't really care much for games. And, mm. and well, up, well, I guess for the last decade or so. But like back in the 90s, early 2000s, I was loving everything that was dropping. I was like, yeah, give me that Sonic Adventure. Give me the new Shining Force. Go ahead and give me the new uh, Mega Man games and stuff like that. Now I'm just like, man, a lot of this shit sucks. Yep. Yeah. There's a I lot played of almost exclusively from software games for the past decade. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I watch you now. You're still just playing pretty much. I mean, it's like Elden Ring. Yeah, Elden Ring. Yeah, <laughs> Elden Ring. yeah. That's what I see you on. So. Yep. Holy shit! This motherfucker's still playing Demon Souls. <laughs> <laughs> the, the original I play one it from too. PlayStation 3. <laughs> a lot of yeah. people still do. Oh yeah. Um. Yo, move shag. What's that? Chill move. Host. I, I just I saw the notification come up. I'm afraid. Oh, uh, oh you're, y- y'all are playing chess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's up on the body. screen. <laughs> yeah, he's about to. Body. So, lots. I feel like a lot's happened in the past week. Um, 
Yeah, far too much. A lot of crazy stuff. Fucking boats hitting bridges. Well, I, can you like can you believe that? Like, and then and I did just I just saw a thread. So they're like the mayor of Baltimore is like talking about it, and everyone was like roasting them in the comments on Twitter about like like how he was dressed. I, was I don't like, care about like I don't like, care about how. Don't he worry was about dressed. how six people die. You had a crooked tie, you <laughs> dickhead. Right. He wasn't really, a jacket. He wasn't he wearing, wearing a, a tie. Letterman, I didn't see it. Jacket, I <laughs> but like, first off, I love Letterman jackets. It's like my favorite yeah. kind of jackets. But second, um, my only my only gripe with that whole thing is that, um, like he the guy showed up like he didn't care, like the way he was just, like his his body language is just like yeah this is this is a shitty situation. All right, you got me out of bed for this. Yeah, basically, because <laughs> somebody yeah. Yeah, that that. that's not good. Like having that attitude sucks. Like I, I can agree with that for sure. Did you see the Did you see the footage of those two birds that were flying past that disappeared just out of thin air, and then the bridge collapsed? No, no, no. All right, I'll see if I can pull it up. Yeah, the conspiracy stuff has already started. It's great. I love it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there's plenty hell of it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm leaning more towards the side of this not being a conspiracy and more just people being inept at their jobs. Right. Yeah, because yeah, I thought the same thing. I was like, was there any connection to like any sort of like terrorist thing? And people are like, no, because they, they they did send like emergency signals and everything prior like to the collision. And I thought, oh, okay, well maybe. Well, maybe you can not. say they lost they lost power, and then when yeah, they were trying to do it, they they hit it in reverse. Which the problem was, if they hit it forward, they would have actually been able to turn. But because yeah. they tried to hit it in reverse, it swung the back end out, which put it straight I forward think they towards also, the. Also, a dropped anchor. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that, like I said on yelling at parked cars earlier, because we talked about it, the fact that the government immediately came out and said, no, it was just an accident, nothing there, that's the only thing that makes me <laughs> lean into conspiracy <laughs> theory. Because if the government says, no, everything's fine, yeah. you can guarantee that it wasn't. Yeah. And then if somebody does claim that, um, you know, claim responsibility for it, that's typically when the government did it. So, mm-hmm. yeah. It's hard to trust any time that they it's they much, immediately come out within like an hour and say, "Oh, nothing to see here." It's much. Okay, so two birds fly past here and hold then on. just disappear. Oh wait, so, hold, hold on, on. got to pull the video up. Let's, oh, yeah, it's much the opposite for me is like, like the government comes out and is like, "Yeah, we had nothing to do with this," and we're like, "Okay, so y'all had something to do with everything else, huh?" Okay, cool. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> what is going on? I hate birds. There with the mom, Oh no, man. we lost Brahma. Oh no. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let common nerd do this. I'm gonna fuck happen? everything up. Are you having Are you having issues, my brother? Of course he issues. is. Right. Yeah, yeah but I can't see on. the uh, studio view. <laughs> yeah. All right, hold on. I got. This. Damn! Look at that. Just so happens the one assistant manager you have isn't on payroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. This is good. Oh, right. there we I go. I saw. Well, while he's figuring that out, I I saw. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Somebody's got. Alright, you ready? Oh, we're missing Brahma, but that's okay. Watch these birds fly in. Oh, see him disappear. What in the damn? Try it again. Oh, they actually did just kind of like like blip yeah. out. Stanos is real. Yeah. I'll even I'll even play it on slow mo. There you go. So. Where them birdies at? Bro. Holy <laughs> shit! What the fuck? It's like someone put a cut in, but yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they went all cute. Better. I wouldn't better even know out. what that proves, but mm. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I don't. I don't like how as soon as the birds like um disappear, they just fade into another clip. Uh, they another faded. Camera. Yep. yep. Like oh shit! They knew. Man, that's the grid. Mm. Sorry. Mr. Drow says conspiracy going further. The federal government paying for the damage instead of the insurance company. Yeah, right. I get that. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying it proves anything, but that's a hundred percent guaranteed Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to point any fingers. However, I'm going to aim this one uh, phalange at any random thing that I think may be the culprit. Well, do you, did you notice a weird thing about the bridge? The only thing that was above the water were all little triangles. Oh, in the shape mm, of the bridge. Mm. So, see, he's got there a point. Go. He's got a point. Damn, I just saw his noggin get bigger. What happened? 
<laughs> I enjoyed the conspiracy theory that already came out that, well, there's something about this ship from where it was where it was originally constructed that is tied to the words White Lion. And White Lion was the name of the uh, cargo ship in the Obama Netflix movie that ran aground. Oh, God. Oh, oh Jesus. Mm. They've gone that far. Yes, on. they've gone that far already. <laughs> wow. wow. That did not I, take I'll long. be honest. I'm not surprised. Here's my thing, right? If the left hates Hold the on. right and the right hates the left, why don't you just both go away? <laughs> Hold on. There, th this, is, this has to be it. There's probably a cool <laughs> thing on the right there. <laughs> Well, that explains why it collapsed so quickly. It was it was actually resting on top of it. Yeah, it was the weight of it. Yeah. So what you're saying it's is the they Cybermen. crashed the bird, the the boat into the bridge to hide the alien ship that was landing on mm -hmm. top of the bridge. Exactly. Exactly. Basically. That's actually I, not too far sense. off of a Doctor Who episode. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't. That was crazy. Someone, my brother-in-law was like, "Oh, did you see that that boat that brought that crashed in the bridge?" I was like, "No." And he's like, "Dude, check this out." And I just remember watching it, being like, what? "Well, check this yep. out." The whole damn thing, and like, and not like a little bridge, but like one point six mile long bridge. bridge. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, it's like, how do you just run into a bridge? Like, how do you miss it? Was there not mechanical failure? Like, there had to have been mechanical yeah, the failure power or something out. like that. Yeah, the power, is, the power, is power went out. It came back okay. on. There was thick black smoke coming out of the engine room because they said oh, bad fuel. And then the power came back on again, and then they hit. But, I mean, it took a lot longer than what that video kind of shows. I mean, the they had time to make a mayday call. They had time to clear the bridge of all cars. The only people that were on the bridge were six construction workers that were filling in potholes, and they're the ones that died. So, I mean, we've all seen the video, but I don't know what the actual time lapse of how long that took happened. Hmm. Diesel well, says he think they destroyed the bridge to cover up the disappearing birds. <laughs> 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 so they got the clip of the birds before everything uh, popped off. Even though like, it was done six hours. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. That's, that's how time hey, bubbles work. Yes. Yeah. They they already knew about the hole in the space time continuum that the birds were flying through. This was just an excuse for the go in there with the construction companies and to coordinate off with the federal government to try to be able to fix the hole in the spine time space continuum. The Damn. bridge is just bridge is just a cover. But Maybe they couldn't I'm... stop the birds from flying in there because that was the fixed point in time that they knew about. So right. if they changed that, then they would never have got the message back from the future about doing it. About so. the whole fact that Maybe I'm missing it. something, but where did where did the clip from the birds come of the birds come from? Because it was it happened at one thirty a.m. So it's this no this it was wasn't um, daylight. The, no, no, that was that was the next morning. The bridge had already collapsed. The then. next morning. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's I missed that part. You know, yeah. no, the, the birds are just proof that obviously there's something between us and where the birds flew. Thus, right. we can no longer right. see them once they hit that point. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds yeah. disappearing was just the universe winking at us like in Three Body Problem. <laughs> yep. I would, I've yeah. heard good first, things about we get that. The first few, uh, yeah, we usual. get the first few like notes from the, uh, the X-Files theme song as a, as a, a sound clip. Right. Yes, we definitely need that. Um, yeah. That that's just, and, you know, who knows? Maybe maybe um, maybe one of uh, Puff Daddy's uh, vans was on that bridge and they needed to cover it up, uh, and that's why he got out of the country so fast. It's very it's very possible. Maybe that was it. Maybe those birds flew into the hole that uh, P Diddy's plane flew into. I don't I don't know. Yeah, yeah. The fact that he used to be called Puff Daddy that 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 that, that word Daddy in there now is really disturbing. So right. Mm -hmm. I still mm -hmm. think he. I still think he was the one that paid for the hit on Tupac. So I, I heard something that. about him blowing up Kid Cudi. Cudi? I don't, I don't know. Oh, blowing up Kid Cudi's car. Yeah. Yeah, that one. I, I'm not a rap person, so I just. <laughs> I don't know. I know. I know. Really, I would never guess. Stuff. Right. <laughs> I totally seem like I'd be down into rap. I'm yep. not well, much I mean... of a rap person. I prefer tacos more. But um, my whole, <laughs> but like, I, it's tacos. funny. It's like a lot of people. At least in a like who know rap who grew up with it, they know who Mace is. Mace is uh yep. the dude that was like if you've ever seen the More Money More Problems uh, music video, he's a guy that uh f he was the guy who also featured on a song. 
with um with P Diddy and uh Biggie. Uh well Mace for some reason stopped rapping to become a preacher. Like like just stop he just stopped his whole John like Jesus. the life of like, you know, the debauchery Dude, just like Ja Rule. That's what Basically. Jesus will do for you. Like like he just really? he just became a preacher out of nowhere. And I'm sitting here like so something had to be had to be going on. Like shit be like Diddy doing some some of the most heinous shit ever, and Mace is like, "Nah, man, I need God. Fuck this." He's like, "It was a good, it was a good win and all, but fuck, man, I think I need Jesus." <laughs> like, yeah. That boy had a vision of hell and was like, "Oh yeah, fuck this shit." I'm <laughs> ja, ja, ja did one single featuring um, Puff Daddy, and then he became a, a full time priest. Yeah. Oof. Gave up the rap uh, game. Yes, I feel like there's a, a lot of people that might not know who Mace is now that I'm thinking of it because he he only did like a song or two with with P Diddy back in the day and then he yeah he disappeared so it's uh, it's kind of funny he came back for a while he did like a couple songs oh, like did he? in the like the mid aughts and okay. then like just didn't come back at all okay. after that so how how much of a boost do you think P Diddy got after Epstein didn't kill himself um. Well, I think he's always he's always been established as like more of an entrepreneur anyway, so I think he was uh, already okay. fairly well established. Uh so one's got the movies and politics industry. One's got the music. So look at that. Yeah, uh, Puffy did Epstein himself. I want to. You guys brought up Epstein. I shared this last night. He's also um, had the most name changes out of most rappers. No shit. I think he's right? had more name changes than uh, David Bowie's had wardrobe changes. That's, What's the point I of that anyway? What the name thing? Yeah. I don't know why they change their names. It's fucking stupid. Pick one and stick. I want to reinvent it. myself. As, re I'm an artist. I need to reinvent. Do you remember when myself. Snoop Dogg turned into Snoop Lion? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Briefly, he was yep. high. He turned back almost instantly after. <laughs> yep. He wanted to get into reggae, right? Yeah. Yep. He was like, "I'm a reggae man now." Yeah. I want to smoke whatever. Anyway, well, I've got to sing. Nah, man, I ain't doing that. Nah, man, I'm good. <laughs> Fuck that. D O double G, dude. It only costs you eighty thousand dollars to get him to rap on your on your song. He's like really cheap. Yeah. Who is Snoop? Snoop. Snoop yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's he's only eighty grand, really. Only eighty grand, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of fucking money, obviously, but like in the world of like rap artists and shit, like like you think the bill would be a little higher than that. No, yeah, because he does multiple ones. That's the whole point. Like. <laughs> That's fucking well, crazy. See, go ahead. Uh, you guys keep talking about multiple name changes. The only person I really think of when people talk about that is Prince. I mean, at one point in time, the man was a symbol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the artist. Yeah, that was just a symbol. He was uh, the artist um, formerly known. To no. Diesel's yeah. point, ODB had a bunch of nicknames. Yeah. Everybody knew him as all those nicknames, but P. Diddy went from Puff Daddy to Puffy to P. Diddy to Diddy, to and Diddy. then back to P. Diddy. Yeah. To, to he definitely did it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he definitely did. Diddy. Now he's um, just P. Diddy. So, P. Diddler. Someone, P. Diddler. P. Did it. Um, Go ahead. Someone had brought up Epstein, and I really want to share this video because I, I, I shared it last night, but I also want to share with you guys so you could see, like, this whole, like, this conspiracy thing. It was... What if I want to spoon up my eyeballs instead? No, this is you good. This first. is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one. Hold on, let me go get this. And there's a really good hairdo in it too. See, instead of watching mm -hmm. this, I'm buying Hell Divers. Hey, oh. yeah! Join us for some democracy. Democracy is garbage. Even as well, it's garbage. Well, Spreading controlled, controlled democracy. Controlled democracy. It's controlled democracy, though. Still Thank garbage. Isn't democracy? Um, technically, it's forced democracy. Shush! <laughs> you filthy yeah. heretic! Manage Shut up, democracy. Yeah, that, I didn't say it was one, wrong. That one bot who who was just born out of its mom's robot vagina, that poor bot didn't deserve what happened to it. Okay. But it was a bot, so it had to die. Very unfortunately, this is a TikTok, but I was still so intrigued by it that I needed to, I needed everyone else. Did you really have to finish, continue after the words TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Remember yeah, what happened he, last time you you were on TikTok for a long period of time? Yeah, he, he yeah. Uh, he had no. five Grand Moff Tarkins. Yeah, Grandma. Yeah. 
This will be worth it though. By the end, by the end, it'll be worth it. Trust me. Trust me. This is good. Trust me. Never yeah, underestimate the butterfly effect of a tiny public access show in upstate New York. Clay Tiffany was an independent journalist and the fearless host of Dirge for the Charlatans. I've, so like, I heard this, so I'm from Northeast, from the Northeast. I remember hearing about this show in like the early 2000s. I was getting into like Alex Jones and stuff. And my buddy who like introduced me to Alex Jones was like, dude, this, this show, they do this show in New York. It's called Dirge of the Charlatans for the Charlatans. You should check it out. And then he started talking about Alex Jones and everything. So I heard about this. It just took me forever <laughs> to like realize who it was. Shags, your uh, microphone being... spiked when you started sharing. Really? Yeah, you got real. What, why is he yelling at me for? What did I do? Yeah, you deserve it. I just wanted it's to play some, chess. It happened when you shared it, so I don't know. Weird. Okay. A thorn in the side of local officials and law enforcement, Clay Tiffany would probe into corrupt politicians and dirty cops, then broadcast his findings on his public access show. But with this fame came enemies in powerful places, one being Briarcliff police officer slash bodybuilder Nicholas Tartaglione, who in 1997 pulled Clay Tiffany over, warned him to stop looking into the police department, said he has ties with the mob, then physically assaulted the TV host. Obviously, this led Clay to delve further into the cops and so began a long-standing feud between the two. Tiffany dug into his past and found that Tartaglione had a history of assault in his time as a police officer. Clay Tiffany would slam him and the BPD on dirge for the charlatans, and in retaliation, Tartaglione would find him and beat him up. This happens at least four times, with the last confrontation putting Clay in the hospital. He would host the next episode from his hospital bed. Clay sued the police department, winning a big settlement, but Tartaglione was never charged or found guilty of a crime. Until this story goes I was somewhere, say, I never could have yeah. predicted. Clay <laughs> Tiffany passed away in March 2015 of natural causes, and the following year, Nicholas Tartaglione was arrested after killing four men over stolen drug money and burying them in a mass grave in the woods. Tartaglione, now facing a life sentence, has been behind bars since his arrest, where in 2019... So this is the part. Jeez. This is it. Hold on. He was the last person to share a prison cell with Jeffrey Epstein. Never Holy underestimate shit, Paul. <laughs> Can you verify that? Is that all fucking true? Bro. Like, Can you verify that? Is that all fucking is, true? The thing is, he didn't. The, the way that it worked out is that Tartaglione brought the blankets to the <laughs> cell, and then he left. They were like, yeah. "Oh no, this is a single person cell," so they pulled him back out and put him in another cell. <laughs> like it all makes sense when you, when you don't think about it. I just, I like my mind when I was sitting there watching it. I was like, "Oh, this is some you know shitty cop video." Blah, 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 mobster. And then I got to the end. I was just like, my head almost exploded. I was like, what, <laughs> dude? Like, can't do this anymore. Like, <laughs> yeah, Dad's I couldn't got a it. funny sense of humor. Yeah, right? That Epstein, that Epstein twist happened, and uh, Shag's was like, I got that grand moth arm tingle going on. Yeah, right. <laughs> here it comes. Here it comes. I, get off this site. <laughs> I can't wait to be on vacation again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shout out to um, uh, what's his name again? The uh, the guy from the uh, the show, Clay Tiffany. Clay Tiffany. There Clay we go. Tiffany. Shout out to Clay Tiffany because he looked into the the dude was like, "You better mind your fucking business, I'm gonna yeah. beat the brakes off you." Yeah. And the man said, "Jokes on you. I already got rid of my brakes." It kept. Like <laughs> 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 I mean, four fucking it. times. Four yeah. beasts, man. Look at my hair. Does it look like I have any self-respect? <laughs> do, do you want to know what the funny thing about the whole um, Nicholas Tartaglione scenario? Um, he's he's no longer serving a life sentence for some reason. Huh. Imagine really? that fucking shock. I'm yeah. Crazy. Insane, that. I was say like oh, and, and he accidentally suicided next Christmas. <laughs> oh, you mean Epstein? Oh, yeah. Next Christmas. Next yep. Christmas. Yeah, next Christmas. Wait, wait. Here's an important question. It won't just question. be ornaments hanging well in history. How well does he know Hillary Clinton? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I think he actually has ties to Hillary Clinton. He All might. Right. They might. They might have went to dinner a few times. Them and old, old Bill Clinton. Do you think she? Oh. Do you think he'll be hanging out in her trees? <laughs> <laughs> Peering out of her bushes.
Bill hasn't been there for a while, so it makes sense. Yeah, that that works we were just too, talking about sure. him being hung, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is my volume uh, we thought we took it dark, and then Brahma yeah, went fine. even darker with it. Yeah, you're good now. Oh, man. Oh, man. You went dark. Brahma went disturbing. Uh, I guess uh -huh. tonight's the night of conspiracies. Yeah, what else? What else we got? What other conspiracies we got going on? <laughs> uh, well, my country's fucked. That's yeah, not, no that's shit. Not a conspiracy. Boy, that's a it's just that's a fact. No, literally just before um, the close of the Senate yeah, last night, they passed a digital ID law bill uh, that's oh, been rejected yes. for four uh, times. So, Jesus, y'all are fucked. You are a China. Digital... You are China light. Wow. Not too much light Oof. anymore. So what does that entail then? Like, uh, Well, essentially a centralized licensing system for all identification for all things. Oof. Uh, and it's a digital one, so you don't actually physically hold anything. It's just cool. Uh, and the, the biggest problem is that they can, they can then control where and when you can use your licenses. Yeah, you can be unpersoned if they don't like you because they just yeah, so, your um, ID. It's it's not quite a social credit system, but it's the next best thing. Wow. Question, Grant. Um, why do you continue to uh, to live in a land that doesn't exist? You might as well move your happy ass over to America, where we got Montana and Texas and Florida. Tennessee. Yeah, but you also Tennessee. you also have like California and Portland. So yeah, so you, no, can, don't. you don't. You you volunteer. You have to go to live there. You have to choose the, that. The, the problem that you're you're looking at here, right? The problem that you're looking at is you have this great fucking sandwich and there's like a little spot of mold on the side of the bread. And you're like, no, nah, the whole sandwich has to go. No, just take the mold off the bread. Keep eating. You're good. So you want California to secede? I want or fall everybody in the ocean. to secede from California. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, but the big problem is I'm a massive patriot. So I don't, I don't want, I don't want to leave my country. I want to fix it. Oh, good luck. I've got another conspiracy for you, Shags. Yeah, Ooh. what is it? So a few weeks ago, remember Ken Buck, the Damn, Republican that's congressman. Crazy, man, for real, honey. <laughs> Ken Buck, the Republican congressman, th said that he was going to uh, step down from Congress mm -hmm. early, not wait for the end of the term. Yeah. He also told Newsweek, "Well, I'm not the one that you should be concerned about. It's the other three or four that are going to do it behind me that are should be concerning everybody." Okay. So yesterday, Mike Gallagher announced he's stepping down before the end of his term. In the next few weeks, we'll probably see two or three more of them step down. Right now, the Republicans only have a one-vote majority. So when two or three more step down... So they're they, never Trumpers then. They are never saying. Trumpers, and the yep. Congress will be handed over to Hakeem Jeffries as the Speaker. Going into election season going into who's going to certify the election. <laughs> and if neither guy gets to 270, and you do have RFK running, I don't think he's going to take that up that much, but if neither guy gets to 270, then the House chooses who the president's going to be. So the Never Trumpers are doing yet more to hand over everything to the Democrats. <sighs> and I don't think it's an actual conspiracy. We've already seen it start. Yeah, I was going to say, at this two point, have stepped time, down, two yeah. more, and it's done. Yep. I don't, it's this, like, tribalism thing that, like, blows my mind. Like, these, like, it's not even about, these people aren't even representing the people, like, their constituents. It's just, like, it's just yeah. what I believe. It's, like, their personal beliefs, and they're just screwing the system because they think they need to, they're beholden to some well, it's Tribal the Uniparty Party acting directly in front of our eyes. Yeah. It's, it's both of them coming together to screw what people are actually, by the polls at least, saying that they want. It's just, oh man, if I, I don't know, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm different from a lot of people in that, like, I want, I want the American system to work again. And I want, I want some faith restored in the presidency and I want power removed from Congress the way it is like there's too much corruption there's too much rot in there and like to cut it out just seems almost like impossible at this point so what's to be done you know um 
And it's like, people don't understand how much like states have, like states have a lot of power, but it's like, we're, we're putting all of our eggs. Everyone's just like, no, just like let the federal government do it. They'll take care of us. And it's like, well, no, because it's just evidence after evidence of that not working. It just doesn't. Yeah. And I don't think, you know, souls hasn't put term. I don't think term limits is the, is the issue. I don't even, I don't no, even because know. Because it's term- the bureaucracy that runs things, not right. the actual people in the seats. And the, and the insane amounts of money, you know, the, like, like the fundraising, the lobbying, lobbying. Uh, I, I mean, once you get to high enough levels, you're talking about like donations coming from, you know, shell companies offshore, you know, uh, you know, like they're everywhere. Like there's just, it's not even real at that point. Um, so I, it's just, it's just, it hurts my brain, it hurts my brain to see it all happen. Well, that's my theory on what's coming up next. So maybe mm-hmm. conspiracy theory to a degree, but, uh, it's what right. I'm seeing. And now we can get back off politics. Cause I know. <laughs> How about that? UFO? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do um, we... I know I need to get that sound effect. Um, what, so I don't know. I want to talk about this, but I know, I know there's not a whole lot of information about it going on. But the Crowder stuff seems <laughs> relevant enough to, like, just to discuss. I don't, you know, we can get into it as much as everyone wants. But, like, my t- my vague tweet recently that I did, my, it was probably my last tweet. Like, I want oh, to believe. Of Twitter? I wish, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't leave you, Twitter. I got to can't stay. quit you. I can't quit you. I wish I could quit you. <laughs> like. I just want to believe that when people come forward with big issues and or things that have happened to them, that they're acting in good faith and that the, everything's on the up and up. And Twitter's done a lot of things like twist your like perception of what's real. And people, a lot of people have destroyed that faith, right? People have lied. They've been caught in lies. But this whole thing, like I, I don't want... I, I've seen too many bad things around Steven Crowder and like things that he's done that I have to think, well, you, you call the name long enough. Like maybe it's true after a while, like maybe, you're, maybe you are a piece of shit. I don't know. Um, but when I, when I watch Jared's video, I think I really feel for this guy. It looks like there, he, there's really concerned about something and something's happening. And again, through past allegations, many allegations towards Steven, I think, well, I don't know what to believe. I don't know. Where, where are you guys at with this? With this well, thing? two things can be true at the same time. Very, Crowder yes. can be an asshole, and right. Jared should probably stay out of divorce proceedings. Yes, that's very true. That's a good point. Stay out of other people's marriages and divorce proceedings. You should have no part in that. Yeah. So uh, from the stuff released today, I don't care on whose side on this one. I Honestly, after right. the... Yeah. The last debacle with Daily Wire and Crowder, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just, I'm not going to call balls and strikes on either side. I'm just going to watch and wait and see what happens. Yeah. Because it doesn't do us any good, really, to pick a side on this one. Because I don't think either of them is in the right from what I've seen. That's a good point. Jared's calling victim, and then Crowder kind of brings some receipts showing, yeah, he's getting involved in my divorce proceedings. That's not... That's not anything any guy should be doing. So, yeah. I don't know. It looks hey. like I, <laughs> of no, course, Garrett, Quarter Black comes in Trump. right at that time. Hi, Garrett. Yeah, that bothers me. Garrett's, Garrett's always lurking. He's Garrett's been always hell, lurking. Were, I'm sure I'm he's not, lurking. We were just sitting here Garrett's talking about lurking. all kinds of... Uh, we were sitting here talking about conspiracies and shit like that. Talking about Will, Rama's not Will Smith, but uh, P. Diddy and blowing up Kid Cudi's car and stuff like that. You show up as soon as we start talking about crap. Man, what the fuck? Hey, <laughs> Garrett, will you teach me how to play Helldivers? Will you teach me how to Dougie? No, Garrett, are we her. playing Helldivers tomorrow night? No, we playing Helldivers he's playing Dragon's night, Dogma. <laughs> no, no, he wants to play Helldivers. 
We're supposed yeah, to be I raising think... money for Vegas. And then he's only streamed. <laughs> the bastard's only streamed with me once. And we're supposed to be raising money for Vegas. <laughs> I will teach you. Also, high culture casino. What's up, culture? Hey, Good culture. Scene, oh, we're not worried about CC. We're not worried. You about know what, Jesse? If you want to earn some money, I will buy a new bottle of Crown Royal and play Hell Divers with you. No. No. Just Let's Crown, do this. Just whiskey. No. Let's do just this. Whiskey. Yes. No. Let's do this, whore. Holy we will set a time. Shit. I will reach out to you. We will find. Well, at least get something yeah. good. In the uh, same, well, in the same uh, price range, get a bottle of Early Times Bottled and Bond. Yeah. Well, here, here's the thing: is I will be, uh, I will be using it as a shot, and I will be mixing it with uh, apple pucker. So, do you really want me to be doing that to that? Mm. Early Times, it's a twenty-three dollar bottle. Yeah. It's good, but yeah. it's cheap good. Mm. But it's definitely better than Crown. So, you know, Crowder, <laughs> uh, Crowder nonsense aside, uh, I think we've all generally picked a side on this, and that side is whatever. Um, <laughs> we don't that's care. my that's thing. Our... Like, I, yeah, that's true, Garrett. Uh, see, that's my thing. You, like, he hooks you up, Jesse. Uh, he's my I... brother, and he hooks you up. Well, it's because yeah. Well, it's because he's closer to being my brother than he is yours. He's only a quarter your brother. He's three quarters mine. Well, technically, um, you could say he's fifty percent his brother because they're both also German. Oh, there you go. yeah. But but, um, but but yeah, like you're saying, sheep. I I don't fucking care about the drama anymore. I am so sick of the fucking he said she said bullshit said back and forth. We got way bad. bigger fucking we got way bigger dragons to slay than should be arguing amongst our arguing among the people that you ideologically agree with on like seventy five percent of things. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why the hell are we arguing with each other when we got people that would literally burn our houses down, murder our children, and, like, not think twice and never lose a fucking wink of sleep over it? And we're arguing over this kind of petty bullshit. Fuck that drama nonsense. I just ignore it. I got bigger. I got fucking Bob Iger's a ass to roast, not fucking petty fucking oh, people arguing. Okay, over I thought shit. you were about to finish that. Is I got Bob Iger's ass to be up. And <laughs> yeah, I was like, that. damn, what's happening? I'm learning how to make my own videos so I can talk about <laughs> video game news. I don't care See, about yes, Crowder's exactly, ass. Yeah, Sweet exactly. Baby Ink has been far more interesting. But, um, Fuck, yeah. Uh, black aside, Girl Gaming? I want to save oh, yeah. gaming, not... Here, here. Well, I also want to get rid of the government, but that those are kind yeah, of yeah. I'll do that too. I mean. Well, that aside, anybody see those uh those me those um messages? I guess that were in Hassan's uh, Discord about him being pissed oh, off. Oh, <laughs> oh dude! Thirteen thousand <laughs> Oh, pobrecito! Just thirteen thousand uh, <laughs> viewers all. on his that's on all. his stream. He's like, all right, I'm I'm done with this shit. Like, really? Can you like, imagine? Sorry, I, go my ahead. thing is like my thing is. I would believe that he is just joking around and shit like that, but he has a habit of hyperbolicizing everything. Yeah. Hyperbolicizing? Yeah. I, I, I'm not I sure use, it's a I, word. I use a word. That's yeah. probably not a word. Mm, it's definitely not a word. He has, it's not really a word, but like, it's fine. He has, he has a habit up, of like in a negative way? Yeah, he, oh, he's yeah. Hyperbolic, hyperbolic about yes. everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. That like I'm I'm using hyperbolic in a, in a, like in a verbal sense. He anyway, um, verb, yeah. he has a he has a, a tendency to be hyperbolic, <laughs> and um, what he like it's like you know the whole America deserve nine eleven thing, or when somebody said that like he's just sitting there, he just lets videos play and walks away from his computer self, and he's talking about not eating. He's like, what am I supposed to do? Die? Like, the fuck are you talking about? It, it, like Hassan is Hassan's an absolute joke, and it makes me laugh. That's so many people. It makes me laugh and it pisses me off at the same time. That so many people still watch his shit and wholeheartedly follow him, like as diehard fans and shit like that. That's the mind-boggling part of it. That is listen, honestly the mind-boggling part. I would murder any one of you with a clear conscience to get thirteen thousand viewers. Fuck that guy. No, I'm just kidding. I would I never totally do that. Believe him, actually. I feel like you would. <laughs> I, I, I believe he I'd would. Murder, you see that? You see that fit? This man looks like he's about to go jump in a fucking like a, a 1940s Ford. He gave himself five Grand Moff Tarkins. To, hey, to hey, no, to in a it. day. So. <laughs> now you know what the Vegas stream is going to be made up of. Oh, just broad <laughs> murder <laughs> yeah, left and right. Yeah, yeah. he's going to go all lumberjack with the axe and just murder everybody on the midweek hump live on stream. It's a nice studio you to. got here. It'd be uh, a shame <laughs> if it got painted red. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that oh, scene out of, Ameri out of American Psycho. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Unfortunately for him. If he um, starts talking about studio, we're all screwed. <laughs> yeah. <we're laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like really, Lewis really in the did news. his best when he broke up. 
<laughs> like, unfortunately, um, we all have seen that movie, and we all believe in 2A. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, you hey, can try man. and act if you so choose to. Walk into Salty Nerd, there's newspaper all over the ground. like <laughs> um, Some saran wrap everywhere. <laughs> right, saran wrap child. all over the mics and shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Reminds me of my first date. <laughs> um, I've, got to, I've got to head up for like half an hour. Um, I'll be back. Okay. So, yeah. I'm in. All right. I'll just I'll jump backstage. So. Later, all right. Yeah. Random uh, plug back. for things that we don't aren't sponsored by uh the sour boys candy by oompaville is amazing and the flavor that meta pcs has that they're collaborating with is also amazing it's called love bomb they're collabor- what they're collaborating yeah. to make a candy i'm excited yeah, yeah. they made a candy it's it's a it's a sour candy it's a sour candy rope and you know it's not like super sour i wish it was more sour but it's mm. better than like the sour boys candies and shit that or not the sour boys yeah, the sour patch, sour patch candies that you get on the, the shelf and and crap. How does it compare to Warheads? You... Yeah, there you go. Oh, Warheads. Warheads, are, uh, oh, warheads yeah. are the quintessential warheads sour candy. Amazing. They're so, not that good, but they're pretty good. So it, remember how? Hold on. Go if ahead. Culture does this, if Culture does this in Vegas on the Salty Nerd podcast, I'll shave my beard on camera. Like if he shows up at Salty Nerd, I would just take a well, thing and just chop it all off. See, so, the golden not just impersonating. When he has will you shave your line. beard? Yes. Yes, uh, I will help you pick the dress. Uh, th- yeah, but like I'm saying, like when, like, like you know, is it immediately after he shows up dressed as uh, Dylan Mulvaney, or is it like, give us a on time the frame for when you're gonna go ahead and, yep. and just should I bring the clippers I use on my yes. dogs? Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Put them in the bag. Okay. I'll do it right there. My dog ass clippers are coming. Whoa. <laughs> ass oh, to that that, that brings scared. a whole new <laughs> mouth to ass <laughs> situation. <laughs> That's a whole I mean, new mouth I, to ask. You know, you know, it's the shit that bugs me about her mentioning the fucking clippers. It's <laughs> like whenever I go, oh man, I got like, cause I had to go get another pair at one point. And she's like, you could just use my dog clippers. And I was like, no, those things have been on a dog's ass. She's like, they work just as well. And you can disinfect them. It's not like you have to put them unclean on your face. You just soak them in, hy- in hydrogen yeah. peroxide for a few minutes, and they're good. Or yeah. same with the toothbrush. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Or or, 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 or. The, the right? used to measure Grace's temperature before she's giving she birth. Puts it in her asshole. Like, yeah. Or oh or hear me I out. just go buy my own clippers. Right. Exactly. <laughs> or I can just go get my own shit. You could just buy your own clipper heads. What? Or <laughs> I could just go buy my own clippers. The dramatic pause. I love it's it. Like, <laughs> that, uh, I'm going to have to bring up a sandwich uh, analogy again. It's like, oh, man, I got a spot on this bread. And it's like, oh, you could just pick it off. And it's like, no, nah, I'll just go ahead and I'll I'll just get another sandwich. You can have that one if you want. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't just pick it, it off if the own. spot is dog crap. <laughs> yeah, like if yeah, you, you just like dog, yeah. dog poop on the sandwich. Like, I, I'll just get yeah, a whole nother sandwich. It's fine. She probably expresses the dog's anal glands before she oh, shaves them. Oh, too. no, no. I leave that up to the professionals. <laughs> Dude, Fuck that shit. Same. Oh, my God. If you want a story about that, I took one of my dogs into the vet because she oh, had fuck. one of her anal glands were swollen. God damn it. And the, dog, the vet was squirt, was squeezing it, and he was looking at it, but at the same time, la, 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 and he had his la, mouth la, open, la, la, and it la, popped, and it popped right into his mouth. No. It was, oh, my God. And it stunk so bad. Oh. Wait, hold on. I got to... Let me bring this up. This the stuff you have to do to be a veterinarian. Oof. The stuff you have to do to, to own animals in general. Oh my God, cancel that. I... <clears throat> I've got about four sets of clippers because my wife thinks that the newer ones should always be used for the dog because they're sharper. And it's like, that's because you keep yeah. using mine yeah. and doling them on the freaking dog. Well, that's then I have get, to buy new ones and she get, complains about that. Just buy the head. And then Dogs you have different the head hair than the whole humans. Clipper. Culture. This one. Oops. What happened? You took it back down. The red Bring dress. it back. Oh, the red dress? Yeah, that didn't work at all. What culture has to wear? Yeah. The red Dylan Mulvaney dress. Where's there we go. It's not. It's, it's not from cool. the same culture that had Sydney Sweeney's Culture's closer uh, to door. Sydney Sweeney's tits than he is to Dylan's. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Oh no shit. Go ahead and throw that one I on. saw I saw this two days ago. I couldn't believe this shit. This tweet is kind of funny too. I, I can't tell. Is it real? 
Or is it, is it a troll? I can't tell. I have no idea. I quote tweeting because it says, if you see a difference in these photos, you're a bigot. And I was like, yeah, I mean, you're... I mean, I, I, technically I, real, yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm a bigot attractive. because I see that the, the both images were shot with two different cameras. Like, one was shot with an icon, one was shot with a cannon. Very true. Okay, one so... One has tits and the other one doesn't. Sign I wasn't talking about Goldman the I was, Sachs. Right. Signed contracts with Goldman Sachs and Simon and Schuster. Paid lawyers more than I made. New York Times bestselling author of Straight to Hell. So I'm gonna go with go satire. Way, I guess. Can wait, go wait. You said journalist, right? No. That's Signed contracts author. with Graham author Sachs and Simon Schuster. Paid lawyers more than I made. New York Times bestselling author. Oh, you mean the uh, the list that anybody can pay to get on? Oh, well, you could just no, click on them and look at some of his other posts and see what they're like. Yeah, that's usually a good uh, litmus test. Well, see his pen tweet. Really... College is mostly a scam. Yeah, it's a satire. Oh, okay, yeah, he's satire. Okay. Yeah, college is yeah, completely but, a scam. And, and how sad is it that we have to wonder now? Yeah. yeah that we have to do this much research to even <laughs> know for sure. That's, that's the price of engagement. It's gotten to the point where... If you want some kind of recognition, you have to pull a Lou Perez. We every, like Lou. a good majority of people know Lou, Lou Perez is a comedian, but he says things in such a serious, no, like nonchalant way that a, a swath of people will just hound him for it. And that's engagement for him. He is all, he has mastered the art of the Poe. He is. The, yeah. It's kind of funny. He has like a he has like this like. Like this fucking what is I don't know I don't know what the the fuck like the Italian the butt plug finger pinch yeah butt thing plug thing in the background yeah, <laughs> his picture it, of his uh, videos and a, shit it, like a fister thing yeah dude goes all the way in with the no pun intended with the jokes it's it's great <laughs> this actually oh man there's one well, here but he calls it he calls it his uh, because he's white so he can't do the black power oh yeah the, thing, um, so he yeah. does the the, the fisting <laughs> the Italian, thing instead yeah the Jewish uh, thing but um he yeah, has one video one. that I I really like where it's like he and his uh he and his buddy they go to get like surgery to basically basically get um adamantium grafted onto their oh, um yeah. onto their bones so they could be like Wolverine and they only have enough money to be able to uh, pick one or the other, like out of healing or the claws. So they get the claws and they just, they get home and start popping claws. It's like, this really fucking hurts. And they're, they're trying to help each other out. And they're like, all right, we got to calm down. Like, we like we 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 gotta like we gotta calm down and then and um they'll they'll go away because they they pop out on emotion basically we gotta be relaxed so like they relax the um, claws deep pop and they're like okay cool cool and they get happy or whatever <laughs> and they all got the one of them like if I remember correctly stabs the other he's like oh my god what did I just do <laughs> oh it's one of the greatest videos. Uh. Holy shit. I'm going to find it, as a matter of fact. I feel like that's yeah, a treat that do. everybody should see. Yeah, that's yeah, funny. It sounds like a treat. We should tell see. I agree with that. I fully support this statement. Lou actually liked, he liked one of my tweets, I think, last week. Uh, I'd made a, a meme about Garrett because he was like, it was on Bay Staff Mondays, and he was like, what? <laughs> He'll correct me again. I think we talked about it, but he was like, what, what are trees made of? <laughs> so I took like a, a shot from like normal world where he's just like lean back in the chair, kind of like it was like an aliens meme basically. Mm -hmm. And I put that on it in Lou. I think he either liked it or retweeted it, but I was like, you know what? I did good today. I'm going to bed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, no, he's funny. I like, I like all the stuff he did that, that, um, uh, uh, the video he did with, uh, Apple with that, um, Oh yeah, with the Mother Earth. The Mother Earth one yeah. that was so yeah. good. <laughs> oh man, so glad to see everyone tonight. It's good to see Culture. How are you doing, Culture? All right, here I we go. I found it. I can't wait for that that poker chip. <clears throat> I'm gonna drop yeah, the uh, I'm gonna drop the video on the private chat. My first poker chip. Mm hmm. Oh, Stop that. Pew. <laughs> nice. Who wants to go on a trip on the high roller with me? Not me. Uh, pull that video up. I don't even know what that is. 
Is that the thing on the link? It's uh, it's oh, it's, video, it's like behind yeah, the link in the yeah. yeah. It's, so no. you you go around. No. It's like one very slow trip around. Yeah. And there's a like private bartender, and you basically just drink as much as you can while you're in there. It's what's really cool about it now is that you have that big dome behind it, like the the sphere. The, the sphere. So that thing is good. Last time I was there, you could like it was just changing. It was the first time they had turned it on. Uh, but they had like it was like an eyeball and then it was just a globe with clouds and shit. It was it was really cool. We didn't so get drinks when I did it last time. Really? No, no drinks served. Oh, <gasps> wow. I didn't well, know you had a birthday stream coming is? up, Sleazy. What? So excused. What is this going on? It's a gigantic Ferris wheel in Las Vegas mm. behind the link. On? Oh, so it's just Chef's a Ferris wheel. Okay. Apparently, he said that. Oh. Well, no, it's gigantic. It's huge. It's yeah. not like a huge. It's like yeah. mostly glass units. So you're you've got you're just standing on glass, looking out over all of Las Vegas. Yeah, I'm yeah. good, dude. I'm. I'm but yeah, when I, when I was there last time, what was that? Not last Vegas trip, but the trip before that. Oh, there wasn't you... any there wasn't any alcohol there at that time. Um, maybe saying. there's specific, uh, maybe if you pay an upgrade and you get into a specific one, then they've got some, uh, bartenders or something. Maybe there's, maybe there's alcoholic and non-alcoholic cause there was kids on some. So maybe you just got on one that was, you well, can't we drink my kids. So. Oh, well, there yeah. you go. Yeah. That would make sense. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, it's, <laughs> it was fun. It's a good time. And you feel secure. Like. You're, it's not open air. Like you're you're yeah. enclosed. It's very secure. Um, so, yep. is there a Are bathroom? We, no. Uh, no, but it's not so I mean, long. It's like it's like maybe 30, half 40 an minutes. hour. Yeah, it's not like if you have to go to the bathroom that in that amount of time, you probably have other issues to to check out with a doctor. I would Depends say. Depends on if it's unlimited drinks. Yeah. 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 No <laughs> well. I don't think you, it's not like you're going to like, I don't think you could like, like just chug, chug, chug. And they're like smaller ones. They, I think it's probably a, a, a 10 ounce cup, maybe. Like oh, the, you don't do think you I could, do you? Do you have to pay for each drink or do you, or <laughs> no. you just continue to hand them to you while you're No, there? yeah. So you pay to get on the thing and then that it includes bar service. I just threw like basically a 10, I think, I think we threw him like 10 or 15 bucks as a tip. And then he just fucking, you know, you don't pay for individual ones there now. I mean, I've seen Garrett drink in uh, in Vegas. He could probably uh, <laughs> get pretty good in that 30, 40 yeah. minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a bathroom. You'll just let it drop while you're on the ride. So, so, you so you're talking it. about, like, that uh, that one chicken Walmart that I saw on Twitter. There's so many chicks in Walmart on Twitter. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> one, like, melt right at the end of a freezer uh Oh, bin? the diarrhea. And then, yeah, moved her panties out of the way and, and just... Uh, excuse me, uh, ...shit it across the floor. Sprayed, yeah. Oh, my Sprayed. God. I'm so glad I don't, so glad Sprayed I don't liquid brown. Do. Yes, all over the floor. And then just stood up and walked away. Yep. I class, 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 huh? Uh-huh. The things you get to see on Twitter. Mm, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Um, Sheep, are we, watch, are we watching this all the way through? Or is there... Okay. Yeah, it's only four yeah. minutes. Okay, cool. And uh, I, I doubt Lou would mind, so. Sweet. Sounds good. What about Greg? Okay, before we get started, do you Greg. have any questions? Nope, we're just really excited. Yeah, we've That's read all the literature. Book. We know all yeah. the risks. We still want mutant powers. Yeah, we've been saving up with this for years. Yeah, $50,000 a piece. <laughs> Here you go. One check. Wow. Oh, wow. Mutant powers. It's finally happening, bro. No. Okay. Um, everything seems to be in order, and we're just going to get... Oh, um... This is embarrassing. What? What's wrong? <laughs> well, for the mutant power you want implanted, you wrote Wolverine. <laughs> I'm afraid Wolverine isn't a mutant power at all. It's two mutant powers. Adamantium claws and mutant healing. For that procedure, I would have to charge you $100,000 a piece. But that's all the money we have. I sold my house. <laughs> okay, um, well, that doesn't need to be a problem. You can choose which power you want. Adamantium claws or mutant healing. Adamantium claws or mutant healing. Which one? Adamantium which claws one? or mutant healing. <laughs> 
So they're both good. <laughs> <laughs> Are they though? Are they? We with the we'll take the claws. <laughs> 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 Why did we take the call? Why did we do this? There's so much blood. <laughs> they come out, they cut my hands again. Why didn't we get the mutant healing? Make it stop. You have to be calm or they won't go in. I hate blood. I can't go now. <laughs> God. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Holy shit, did you cut off your nipple? What? <laughs> That's what it was, it's a nipple. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh, shit. oh, 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 oh no! I think I just stabbed myself in the chest. <laughs> Please, God, wake me up! Wake me up! <laughs> Will you have to help me? You can help me. Okay, okay. Just don't move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna apologize. Just turn it off. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you hit brain? Apparently not. Did you not. hit brain? <laughs> Probably uh, a little... <laughs> oh, nice. Did you hit brain? Probably a little. Okay, okay, okay. Truce, right? On the count of three, we'll both let our bodies go completely relaxed. One, two, two. <laughs> Who's after two? What? <laughs> Who's after two? Fuck! What comes after two? <laughs> Cookie? Oh, you should have taken the mutant healing. Cookie! <laughs> Dude, that's so good. Classic, I love it. So good. <laughs> Nice. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lou, I I love Lou's humor. <laughs> you know what show I miss is um. God. Was it Kids in the Hall? That's Kids in the Hall. Yeah. Kids in the Hall. Canadian humor. Yep. Yeah, Kids in the Hall I'm was great. Wishing it again. I I crush your head. I crush your skull. Crush your head. <laughs> My brother actually ran the the uh, Discord community for the whitest kids you know for a while. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, before the one guy died. You know, last summer they did another season of Kids in the Hall. Really? Yeah. There was, was a lot of a lot of frontal nudity. That doesn't surprise me. All male. It doesn't. All male. Of course. All male. All male. <laughs> well, aren't like most of them gay? I think it's Scott Thompson. Oh, it's just the Is one? He? I always thought it was more of them. Yeah, I'll be honest. I thought so, too. <laughs> I'm almost positive Scott Thompson, yes. On the others, don't think so. But mm. Well, I could be wrong. Who knows? Uh -huh. As long as they're funny, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that was really good. I've never <laughs> seen that. <laughs> Me? I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Holy he has crap. some some, ter some really terrible ones where he like one where he's standing at a, on a kid's playground and he starts saying this stuff, and it, every time he posts it, people just go after him saying, "You were a sicko! How could you say that?" Blah, oh yeah, blah, blah. on Twitter <laughs> and stuff. Oh my god, it's funny because all he does is he shows up, he does his little skit, and he leaves. Yep. Oh man, what else is like? been popping off yeah what else has been popping off oh, um, can't just get the crap out of me i don't know body problem people. watch it yeah that so i heard a lot about that that show i, I was gonna wait and probably i did i 
My wife's not usually into sci-fi stuff, but I wanted to see if she wanted to check it out. But it's so is it by it's by the guys who did Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yep. It's an adaptation of uh Sijin Lu's books, Remembrance of Earth's Past. Okay. Um it is not really an adaptation of the first book. It's it's getting into the whole trilogy already of the first season. And okay. yeah, it they they change up a lot of stuff. But from a book reader's perspective, it's stuff that makes sense because okay. it's all, I mean, the, the books are all very China centric because mm-hmm. it's China. a Chinese author. Um, so they move it over to England as the main focus and they, you know, some of the characters are compiled together. Some of the others don't exist, but uh, the book is, the books are very hard sci-fi. So it's a lot of explanation of theories and stuff. And oh. the series you know, the Western audience typically is more into character development. So they did keep the key points from the book. So it's hitting all the all the main storyline. But they did develop the characters a little bit more because the characters in the book are extremely bland. Oh, okay. it's, it's hard to, well, especially with all the Chi- Chinese names, it's hard to figure out who's who in the whole series. But yeah, one of the best sci-fi series I've ever read. And this adaptation I thought was pretty good. Cool. What what series? Uh, Remembrance of Earth's Past is oh. the series. Three Body Problem is the first book in it, and that's what they named the uh, series, the <clears throat> Netflix series. And there's also uh, there's a Chinese version of it made by Tencent that it's like thirty episodes long, and it's like word for word from the book, except they uh, leave out the China uh, Chinese Revolution. You know, oh, imagine my shock. Shocking! Yeah. Why would they do such a thing? I can't yeah. imagine why. But Netflix opens with it. That's the very first scene. Nice. So, yeah, I've I've thought it was great. Um, there are a few issues with it, but uh, as far as adaptations go, hundred percent better than Wheel of Time or anything like that. Five hundred percent better. Uh, it doesn't take much to do that. No. The Wheel of Time, the Wheel of Times is is such an interesting failure because. As far as like that universe goes, it's like it's already. I guess if you want to define it as woke, like it's already a female centric, like like the like the magic yeah. in that, you know, like is is very <laughs> female centric. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, the weave is female centric. Yeah. Um, well, the female half is right. Basically, it's just, but that's the only one allowed to really be used. So yes, they have all the power at the moment. Basically, yeah. basically, just, basically, basically. Basically. basically, basically, but yeah, basically, then like you know, the bodyguards are the cooler people in my opinion. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, there's such a, a like just like the Wheel of Time, just like like Moon Knight, and I guess even the Rings of Power. Like all that stuff is such a are such disappointing failures because they were. Well, Rings of Power. I don't know. Dude, the, the, Rings of Power is such a fucking shit show. Let, no, me tell you what, let me tell you what these motherfuckers did. So they <laughs> shot the shit. They shot the bitch in the UK in the first season. And then they decided to move their shit to New Zealand, where everybody else shoots their shit because it's cheaper there. So it's like you ran your fucking budget just so that you can go to a cheaper place in the first place. Why mm. don't you just go to New Zealand in the first place so you have more to work with? Yeah. Stupidity. Yeah. Oh, and now they, oh, wait, 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 wait. Didn't they start in New Zealand and now they're tearing everything down and had to build all of it in England? Isn't that what happened with Rings of Power? I'm pretty sure it was the... I, I think it was the other way around uh, where they started in the UK and I then went wrong. to New Zealand. I could be wrong. Yeah, but either way, either way, it's something that's it's literally doubled the price of that entire fucking show. That has been the biggest vanity project for um, What's His Nuts... Ever, like it has oh. to be. Well, everybody on that fucking team, apparently. Yeah, no shit. No shit. They should have just got Warwick Davis to play any Hobbit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could have just had a show all about Warwick Davis and just let him re. It, you yeah. could have turned you could have turned Rings of Power into a one act one man play and let Warwick Davis do the entire thing, and it would have been a million times better than what we got out of this show. That, that's absolutely true, absolutely true, because. Wasn't Warwick that called Davis, Willow? 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> Warwick Davis has that same kind of personality that you'd expect from a Hobbit too. Yeah, oh yeah. He's very I'm dickish. Sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But nice when he has, but but kind in all the right ways. Right. Shout out to Warwick, one of the best uh, little people out there. He got put into a bad situation that he did not deserve by Disney, so fuck them for that too. I think a lot of people who did, you know, work with Disney got put in a bad situation. Look at um what's her name? Amon Amon Vellani? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like sweet she, girl. Yeah, she's she she plays the role like she wants to be um Kamala Khan. But the way that the way that like the shit was delivered, like Kamala Khan was no one's real no one's favorite character. And then they just completely botch what the fuck she was in the comics. Yeah. And then they just basically they didn't even they didn't do anything with her anyway, um, as far as the movies go or the you know MCU goes. So now the girl is just kind of like you know, her her whole like MCU career is up in limbo because nobody knows the fuck they're gonna do with them next. Mm-hmm. No. Nobody knows what they're gonna do with any of that next. That's I don't think the they even know what they're gonna do with the next. <laughs> yeah, no, everyone's they, like, uh... <laughs> they really don't because they have such an infight going on right now because of that proxy vi- fight which. April 3rd's next Wednesday, or April Uh-oh. 2nd's next Wednesday. I can't wait. Oh, that reminds me um, of Jimmy Texas. Taxation is theft. Absolutely. And here, here. Amen. Feels like more theft than usual this year. Mm. But they, well, it's because it is. But they are, they're literally, they're behind the scenes in Disney, they're fucking scrambling. They have no idea what the hell they're going to do. Fucking Feige's pissed at Iger because he's canceling all the stuff. Iger's trying to save his ass from getting ousted. Feige's <clears> desperate to do whatever he can to make sure he doesn't go down as the last man standing on top of the ass sheep that is Marvel. Like, yeah, that that company's in complete and total fucking disarray right now. <laughs> Free falling. Yep. Mm-hmm. Burn, baby, burn. You did it to yourself, and Iger lit the match. <laughs> Disney Inferno. I like it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I can do that. Disney Inferno. Disney, Disney. Yeah, D- yeah, Disney's just been eating Burn, shit Burn, recently. Like, a lot Burn. of films actually have been just been eating shit recently. Like, a lot of the ones that have been uh, releasing this year. Like, it's funny, because last year started out with a fucking bang. Like, you had a, a couple good bangers, and then you also had, like, you know, well, obviously you had the Mario movie drop last yeah. year. Uh, last okay. year. Um, and then you got... Like Barbie and Oppenheimer, that would happen. Like they they're almost a year old now. This year they started out with fucking what damsel. That was on Rebel that, that Moon was is next release, month. Yeah. Rebel Moon, like, yeah, and Rebel Moon was last in January too. It's a whole bunch of shit, like actual Dunes. garbage. I mean, you had Dune too. No, Dune people like that. that. Dune two sucked ass. Dune two had issues. I was, oh, really, really I was severely upset with that movie. Thanks, Dennis ne- Villanueva. Mm-hmm. Dude, I do. I, 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 so I, promising. Yeah, and I guess what? I, I found out some stuff today, too. Apparently, he grew up in, like, one of the fucking woke fucking beta soy bitch families and everything else. Like, I, yeah. Imagine my shock. Yeah, yeah. color yeah, color me shock there. Yeah, dude, I had so many people fucking <clears throat> try to jump down my throat over me roasting that fucking movie because, like, the the relationship that I loved the most... Outside of Lady Jessica and Duke Atreides' his relationship was the one between Paul and Shawnee. And they just fucking Fuck just that completely ripped. Up. Oh, they that's not even this that's not even Shawnee. That's fucking Zendaya some yeah. playing some angry anti religious fucking bitch in, oh, you in mean a, the in a supposedly and, Dune um, movie. In the Spidey movies, Iron Boy movies. Oh yeah, it's almost like Zendaya plays <laughs> the same bitchy ass character in every fucking movie she plays. Do you want to know the ironic so part Michelle about Rodriguez all of that? and Tessa Thompson? Yeah, but at least I like Michelle Rodriguez. I don't. Uh, she Michelle does the Rodriguez exact same thing. Tough I think bitch. I'm tough. She plays, yeah, she plays t- tough bitch that either dies, doesn't die, or loses a limb. Um, or dies and comes back. Somehow. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks, T-Virus. But, um... The, <laughs> thanks, Fast I was thinking and Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, that shit. Oh, yeah, she's Lottie. That's right. Um, yeah. But, was her Zendaya, her early career on Disney, she was playing this super hyper energetic ass character i think there's like on a like a oh, cheerleading so squad a or a dance kid. team or some shit like that mm-hmm. yeah she's a disney kid that explains fucking everything yeah she didn't just pop up out of nowhere she's she was on disney back when she was like a preteen. yeah 
<laughs> that explains everything. Yeah, dude, because I fucking, I got, I got like, I, I roasted that video, I roasted that movie in one of my videos, and I got so much hell. I've never had a video get thirty percent like ratio on it <laughs> ever, and I ticked off every fucking Dune normie out there. I'm like, I can tell. Every one of you fuckers out there that didn't know shit about this story prior prior to Dennis Coxsackanilueva's ass no, getting yeah, a hold him. of it, and uh, now all of a sudden y'all want to come out here and defend because you don't know shit about Zendaya. You don't understand that a woman can also be a great wife, a mother, and also a complete and total badass mm -hmm. at the same time, and because you decided to rip out the two-thirds of that fucking character... I'm the fucking sexist misogynist because Dennis Dillaveva had completely destroyed a multi-layered strong female character. Well, these are people who have never seen the um the the mummy movies with Brendan Fraser. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That was a strong that was a strong mother father um dynamic right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's it's just and they didn't even even take out the Zendaya shit, right? Even take her out. They still took a movie that should have easily been two movies and crammed it into the last third half of that movie. Like it was there was so much shit that was skipped over. There was literally like almost a two year gap and like all of this other shit. Like uh where's Leto One? Leto One's not in that story at all. Like Zendaya's an anti religious she went from being a priestess to be an anti religious bigot. Like <laughs> Hmm. Like that, they just completely and totally fucked her. Kids. You still want to oh. go see Dune too? No. Who? Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. Please don't waste your time. I literally walked out of that movie extremely upset. Let's go see because the that was one of the few Magical ones Negros I was instead. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I probably would have rather watched that. At least I could have laughed. At that. Literally. I mean, you don't want to go in there. You don't want to go in there and, and fucking the laugh with a hacksaw. Uh, speaking of speaking of that. Uh, speaking of movies that uh that that suck. I'm wholeheartedly <laughs> convinced that Madam Web is the room of Marvel movies. Like, the movie's so goddamn bad that people are going to love it, like, later on. I've heard now. people laugh through it. I've heard oh, people yeah, no, really laugh through it. It's, it's comically bad. Like, it's so horrendous, you can't help but laugh. You're not even angry. You just, you just laugh. That's fucking great. That's fucking <laughs> I recommend it. I hate it. He's like, <laughs> 10 out of 10. I didn't even recommend. find it. I mean, Mad makes me watch very, very bad movies. I give that movie and I a couldn't fucking even one laugh out of 10, that. but I, I still recommend it. Oh, my God. That's really fucking bad. But, yeah, don't recommend Dune 2. Highly, do not recommend. Avoid at all costs. Oh, there you go. Or Roadhouse. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Or Roadhouse. Oh, yeah, that's right. Roadhouse. I knew that was going to be hot garbage from the beginning, though. I was at least excited about Dune 2. That one's closer to being unintentionally funny. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't think. Right. I didn't. I didn't necessarily think it was going to be well. I don't have time I, to watch a movie this weekend anyway. Well, oh. sorry. No, you're fine. Um, Tell that pussy to come. Oh, we man. don't. We got a lot of shit to do. That's I right. uh, I thought that the the remake, you know, wouldn't be as good as the first, but it would still be like fun and <laughs> you know. Oh. <laughs> well, I like Jake Gyllenhaal. I like Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, that's and I, fine. I, you know the preview where he's like slapping those guys in the the uh, the parking lot. I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. Like just the open hand, just slapping every one of them. That's you got funny. you got health insurance, right? I want to make sure you got insurance before we start this. Apparently, see, Roadhouse is so damn bad that nobody started trending on my feed. <laughs> Connor specifically that acting, one scene. Please. That one scene, the uh, the bus scene, when uh, like he's just like he's trying to beat it, uh, beat the brakes off everybody on the bus, and he just gets thrown out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's too it's too bad because I think I feel like that one had potential to be like pretty, like entertaining and fun. That it just got. It was just... entertainingly pretty, yeah. but um, it was something. Oh yeah, Deadpool was supposed to be releasing this year. Mm -hmm. Deadpool, um, yeah. I mean. People are holding out hopes for that because you know you got you got Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine, you got um, Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool, and they they played the roles as best as they could throughout their entire career. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, cool. I'll I'll see how that would go. I'm not holding out hope for Beverly Hills Cop Four. No, no. I'm not holding. I mean, people like the trailer for um, Bad Boys Four. 
What? I have there's no. a trailer for Bad Boys 4? Yeah, there's a trailer yeah, there's for a Bad trailer. Boys 4. It's the whole freaking movie. They can just drop this morning. Yeah, it's the whole movie is shown in the trailer. Like, the whole movie. That's that's yeah, not good. Um, Diesel's... Ex- Diesel, I mean, the Alien Romulus trailer... Oh, yeah, Romulus, looks, that too. Yeah, that one. Like, Diesel, I know Diesel's really excited about that one, and he's a huge Alien fan. Um, and honestly, it, it's got the feel of the original Alien movies, you know, like it's got the feel for it as to whether or not it'll be any good or not, but it's got the same aesthetic. It feels creepy. It's got the horror sci-fi vibe going for it. You know, a bunch of dark corridors, lots of running for monsters. So we'll see. We talked about this now. last week. Yeah. You yeah. know what looks real good? Boy Murders mm. World. What? Have you guys seen it? anything on it? No. Mm. You Is should ben pull Savage up the trailer for it. No, it's... uh. That would be hilarious, though. H. John Benjamin voices the whole oh, movie. It's nice. A, it's a character that uh, goes through something traumatic with his family getting killed early in the movie, and mm. he ends up deaf and dumb because of it. So he creates his own inner monologue that's H. John Benjamin's voice talking Dude. throughout the whole movie, narrating what he's doing. He's all, His voice and is it's just another so revenge good. story. So okay. it, it looks freaking great. It's, uh, it's one of the Skarsgård's. Nice. I mean, oh, as bad as Peter. the crow looks, it's the one that it's the one that's in the crow. Is that Bill? Uh, um, yeah, that's Bill. As bad that's as the crow nice. looks, this looks great. Yeah, I was about to say uh, the crow is another one that looks like absolute shit. But Scar oh, yeah. Scar's a good the, actor. I mean, the fine. crow trailer, the crow trailer, didn't honestly bug me as much as what I thought it was going to. I thought I was going to out and out hate that. And I guess because it's not a one-for-one one remake, it doesn't bug me as much because it seems like they're kind of trying to tell their own story. It just irritates me that they're using Eric and Shelley Draven's names. Like, right. it's already been established that there are other crows in that universe. You could have used a different crow and told the exact same story and just give it a what, different name. And what, it just irritates me that they're trying to retell that story. What kind of bugs me is that, like, you know, Shelley's, Shelley died. Right. So, what's this whole this whole you can save her soul thing? Yeah, you you can still save her thing. Yeah, yeah that, you're running that, out of time. You're running me. out of time to save her. And I don't know if it's maybe maybe. Thank you, Garrett. Like <laughs> yes, exactly. No. Crow looks fine. Everyone's over. Her. See, that's what I'm saying too. Like, I did not. I thought I was gonna immediately hate it. And like we even talked about it on my stream. It was like, yeah, it doesn't look honestly. It doesn't look that bad. Um, it's just one of those, like I said, it, bu- it bugs me that, and like, you could see you, the saving line is so ambiguous. Could be, could it be you're missing time to save her soul? You know, it could be, I don't, I don't think they're going to try to like bring her back from the dead. I don't think it's going to be something like that. My problem okay. is it's a reboot that doesn't need to happen like the rest of them. Well, yeah. I know. I, 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 Crow I don't, is a movie me, that I'm, should have yeah. been left alone completely. I'm yeah, but I don't, I don't, I just, I disagree. I, I, I. I don't think the crow is this like sacred cow that you can't touch. You know, I like. Do. But why? Uh, you know, when there's so shags. much other actual like, <laughs> the first... shitty movies that were terrible but good concepts that could be remade instead. Yeah, that's no, I, that's fine. Yeah. Or well, when you could make something I don't know original. I'm forgetting the no, name of, of the, uh, the, ori- yeah. the director for the original movie, but he he doesn't like the backlash that the new movie is getting. But he right. said he understands what what the uh, the movie means to fans. Like it's yeah. it's uh, Brandon Lee's final movie. He died on set and stuff like that. It's basically like you know the send off from Brandon Lee, and the swan song. it yeah it, it basically and it's like it and it does look bad to fans when something like that happens. Yeah, and like I said, that's what that's what bugs me because I honestly I like I liked I thought the TV show concept was kind of cool that they had back in the '90s of the Crow thing. Like I love I was all all iterations of Crow thing when I was a kid. Like the second movie was kind of okay. I didn't even bother watching the third one. I thought the no, television you don't watch show the sequels. Was- yeah, yeah. The television show I thought was kind of neat because it did. It started with a new crow, and it even like it was even showing you like it would show you flashbacks of other crows. Like there was even one during like a Native American time. There was one during like the Old West, mm-hmm. doing like all that kind of trope. So that's why I was like, so that's why I was like, if they did something like that, I'd be okay with them carrying on the storyline because the crow is supposed to be a mantle. It's kind of like the Ghost Rider to a certain degree. Mm-hmm. Although I don't even like that one being a mantle, but it is. It's supposed to be a mantle that can be passed on. So. Like I said, honestly, I'm willing to give it a shot. Am I going to run out to theaters and watch it? Probably not, but I definitely would probably watch it on streaming just to give it a shot. Easier, yeah, Jack Sparrow. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, you hey, said streaming. You, Never mind. You're good. I said streaming. I didn't say yeah, I was going to nail the high seas. He's not going to incriminate himself like that. 
Not on YouTube. No, are you, <laughs> no, are you retarded? No. If we were on Rumble, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, basically. 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 Basically, your stain is basically what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what else is going to be releasing? Uh, that um, that yeah. one fucking... I don't know if that movie is out already. The 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 movie where, like... I'm forgetting who the fuck was in it. We don't know. Uh, what's that guy's name? Pedro Pascal, I think, was in it. And, like, some other chick. And there's, like, some weird-ass debauchery shit going on in the movie. Okay, that that's really specific. Yeah, that, Narrowed that, that one down. Holiday, it's, like, the Holiday. only movie that, like, that features Pedro Pascal and some other girl engaging in, like, some, like, some gross-ass sexual shit. Oh, you mean oh. him actually being involved with a woman instead of just sucking dick behind the scenes? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> this guy. Hey, allegedly. 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 Okay, allegedly. I don't want to end up like that park place and get sued by black girl gaming. It's okay. <laughs> so. I put on a video about that. I'm expecting my lawsuit papers so, every day now. Me too. I dropped mine today. <laughs> well, are any of you going to see Godzilla and Kong? No. Oh. This weekend? Not this weekend, oh, but I will no. see it. Well, I mean, that's when it comes out. Yeah. <laughs> no, I won't see it this weekend, but I do want to see it. Yeah. I'm 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 one of those people, right? And here we go. I'm going to set some other people off too. No more fucking Godzilla movies for a while. You can have more Unless Godzilla movies, just no more universal Godzilla movies. It, like like I'm sick of seeing this motherfucker lose, 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 lose and then win on a technicality. Get the fuck out of here. That's not my Godzilla. <laughs> That's right. Did you not see um, was it God? Not, uh, King, not King of Monsters. King of Monsters. No, what's King yeah. of Monsters? When he got bodied by Ghidra, he got slapped up by Rodan. Fucking Mothra had to save him. Then she died. Mothra always saves that him. But that's her reiteration. Role. But he <laughs> won. He won by the help of the humans. A win's you a win. It doesn't matter if it's by an inch him? or a mile. No, this is... He got recharged by the sun in the middle of the Earth, which is the fucking retarded. Well, no, they but, went down and actually detonated a nuke. To no, like... The, the, anyway, like, he, he got supercharged, came back up, and still got slapped up, then won on the technicality. I don't remember that part. I'm going to have to rewatch it. I want to see this um, Knox Goes Away movie that no one's talking about. Knox, um, like the pal? Uh, K-N-O-X. Um, it's a, that sounds familiar. So Michael Keaton plays, in, like, he's, like, an assassin that is, has, is diagnosed with dementia. Um, and he's trying to redeem himself by saving his son's life, who he's not, like, attached to. Like, he, like they're estranged, you know. So it, it looked like a cool, like, movie. It's just different. And I like Michael Keaton in that more, like, serious role. Michael so. Keaton's a great actor in general. Yeah. Yes. So, <clears throat> and I'm sick of I'm sick of seeing things with the intention of bashing it. So I'd rather go to a movie, have my expectations just kind of normal. Hopefully, I'd like to enjoy something, not expecting to hate it. So, but yeah, I don't go to movies. I I think I'm not gonna like. Well, I'm saying like a lot of the movies I've seen recently, like or even like the Marvel movies, like I was so invested and I kept seeing them. And but you're just kind of walking into them like ah oh, fuck this this thing again you know but I still want the. Uh, well, at one we'll point, um, when I stayed in Atlanta, uh, a couple of my friends and I we would go to see a different movie every week. Mm -hmm. Um, and we we found some some good movies out of that. Like everybody was hyped up about Guardians of the Galaxy two, and we're like, yeah, let's go see Slight. Slight was such a good movie. Mm -hmm. It's a very unheard of movie, but it's such a good movie. Or like this kid who does like street magic ends up like uh, it, it just so happens he's also doing work as a drug runner and he wants to get out of there for him and his sister because his, both his parents are dead. He's taking care of his sister. So his only way out is in a body bag, essentially. Um, and what he hmm. does is like he he's he comes up with this like crazy ass fucking like set up to where it's like he he basically he essentially turned himself into like a human magnet with like some like some crazy ass like science shit. But um it, it's 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 a really good movie. I like it. 
uh, and if anybody knows Dulé Hill, the guy that played Gus in Psych, if you've ever seen Psych, Psych's great. As timid and like goofy as he is in that movie, holy shit, is he a great villain? Yeah. Like the man I've... can put on intimidation like a motherfucker. I recommend that movie to anybody. Okay. He's no, it's not Black Girl Magic enough. Cloud. It's um, Black Boy Street Magic. <laughs> He's got a surprisingly good range because I've seen oh, him yeah, play Dooley's great. villain and some stuff before, and then he did a great, like the great scared father figure in Thirteen Ghosts. So yeah, yeah, he's got a nice range on him. And he also played um, what's what's the guy's name from Holes again? I don't Shia know why you're asking. Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. No, he's not Shia bad. LaBeouf. He played the um. Oh, the uh, he 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 played um the black guy. Yeah, the, I can fix that guy. <laughs> The only black guy in the whole movie. The only black guy the in the whole adult. movie. Black adult. To be fair, <laughs> oh. Hector was black. Hector was black. That's right. No, they had a couple of black kids in um in D tent. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Well, um, there you go. But I'm yeah, um, like he played the one the one dude who slept with the teacher, who like um who basically they found out was going on, and they were gonna basically Sam? kill him. I think his name was Sam. I think his name was Sam. No, it was, yeah, it's I think it was Sam. But like he gets on a boat and tries to like you know roll away, but then he gets he has shot. The sweet and onions, and she had the the, peach the peaches. Preserves. Orlando so, Jones. Orlando Jones is another good, a great actor. I like Orlando Jones, but uh, no, he's not asking who because Dulé Hill played oh. him. We were oh, saying okay. that the name of the the character he played was Sam, I think. The also, black guy who fixed the roof of the church, or also no, uh, school. If you haven't seen Holes, I recommend it. It's got a great cast. It's Shia LaBeouf, obviously Dulé Hill, Sigourney Weaver as a villain. Like it's it's a great movie. Henry Winkler. Henry the Winkler is the movie. Too. I just realized that it's Henry <laughs> Winkler. That's great. The book was great too. Is anyone else not that excited to see Beetlejuice too? Oh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is what it's called. I'm sorry, yeah, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. get it right. I don't I'm care at all. Fence. I didn't like the original, so. The oh, the trailer I didn't I didn't hate the trailer I didn't love the trailer I probably if I see it it'll be because I had nothing to do one night and I pulled it up on streaming long after it was released and everybody's talked about it. Yeah, I just, yeah, it's just one of those like this this sequel should have just been done like thirty years ago and then it would have made more sense. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that too. <clears throat> yeah, that too. Need a sequel. Um, the, the other is, issue we're running into is they they blackballed not blackballed well yeah they blackballed the shit out of Michael Keaton because you didn't see him in almost anything for like well in the trailer you don't want to see him right off he I mean the fact that they had him at the end honestly in my opinion was too much of a reveal to begin with they would have been way better off kind of continuing to leave it a little fuzzy where he pops up as opposed to having him top popping up and, and, and talking to um, Lydia's crap. daughter Claudia. Or Lydia, I mean. Lydia, yeah. But um, that, that just—that's a little too, a little too much. They would have made it more intriguing for somebody like me if they had left that kind of veil on it. But yeah, what I, see, I was making a lot, of, a lot of the fans would have gotten mad because like, why didn't we get to see Beetlejuice in the trailer? Why didn't we get to see Michael Keaton in the trailer? Well, I was, I was. But why do we need to? I was a, I, I am I, a fan. Why, why? Because you're I damned. Mean, and honestly, you do, I will say he does look don't. really good still in in the makeup, and he still sounded good. Uh, but at the same time, you could tell just a little bit in how he moved that it's not going to be able to be the same. Yeah. Yep. I was I was speaking more on Michael Keaton's act, his career, not just Beetlejuice though. Yeah, I was okay. gonna say. Yeah, that's what I knew. That's what you were talking about, and she. Went yeah. well, I was like, I knew what you were talking about. You were talking about you'd been blackballed from Hollywood. Yeah, oh. like Hollywood. Like how he's been in Marvel movies. He was in the Batman movie. But no, what I'm saying is like he he hasn't been in anything for like most of the mid aughts, and you don't see him in a lot of the 2010s. He just kind of popped but back up with that, a vulture. The thing is, is we don't know how much of that was his choice and how much of it was Hollywood. He also did play Harvey Bird. He played he did, Birdman yeah, in the yeah, Birdman. Birdman. Yeah, so we don't know how much of that was his choice and him being selective about roles True. versus how much of that is him. It, it was Hollywood trying to blackball him, as you, as you mm. said. So I, it's one of those things. I don't like it when, when people say, well, they're doing this, that to the actor. Well, we don't really know that. Some actors are far more selective about their roles. I mean, you, you have kind of 
two two actors. You have the actors that take everything or the actors who wait until they feel like the role is well suited for them. And I f- kind of feel like uh, what about Keaton you? is one who waits for roles he feels well suited to. Well, one of the things that got me excited about this, the Beetlejuice movie, too, is how much excitement I heard from Michael Keaton in interviews afterwards. And the same thing with Tim Burton, because they're like, especially with Michael Keaton, he's like, this is the most fun I've had making a movie in a long time, which actually kind of leads some credence to what horror is saying. Maybe he is just more selective about the movies he's involved in, because he's like, he's like, we're finally getting back to basics again. He's like, this is how we used to make movies, practical effects. We're all on set together. You know, none of this CGI stuff, none of the rest of that nonsense. And I want Alec Baldwin back in a movie. <laughs> no, we're okay with that. We're okay no, with I want that. I want it back in. I didn't even and remember then that we've was also Alec got... Baldwin until he looked it up. Yeah, right. Beetlejuice can't, can't die, so fuck it. Put him back I in. Can't ever, I can't ever remember the lady's name, but she played the Merovingian's wife in The Matrix. Oh, uh, uh, Monica a... Bellucci? Bellucci. Yeah, Bellucci. she's in it, and I'm excited for anything she's in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy. I know, so... I'm just so scared that it's going to suck. Because I really, I Beetlejuice was definitely one of my favorite movies growing up, and then of course the TV show, uh, the little cartoon, yeah, the cartoon, was, the cartoon, was yeah, the cartoon was pretty, and so pretty cool. As much as I really like Tim Burton, he does have his own kind of weird, uh, you know, quirks. Yeah, and so I don't know where he, I just. I don't want to be irritated if they pop some messaging in there, you know? I wouldn't be surprised well, if he did. I honestly I honestly don't think they probably will, and I think that's one of the reasons why this movie took 30 years to make is because the only reason they're making this is because Tim Burton and I think it's Brad Pitt own the studio. Like, this is their studio, which is the only reason they're doing it now is because they he has complete and total creative control. Whether or not that ended up being a good or a bad thing, um, yeah. it'll at least be his. So Yeah. I do like it when uh, an act, when an actor, director, or everybody's let to do their thing, as opposed to being interfered with by the studio. So, I don't know. I might wait until a little closer to really make up my mind about if I'll see it or not. But yeah, give it another trailer or so. If oh. they start, the big problem with trailers today is they just show us way too much. Yeah, yeah, and far too much. The mm-hmm. more they show us, the less I want to see it because, uh, I, and honestly, a. It kind of, I felt like it kind of started when, I don't remember if you guys remember that, uh, everybody says it was terrible, but I liked it, that uh, Teddy movie, Ted, the, Ted. Oh, the bear yeah. and Mark Oh, uh, and Seth MacFarlane movie? MacFarlane. Was it, yeah, is that it, it? Yeah, Seth yeah. MacFarlane uh, voiced Ted with uh, Mark Wahlberg in it. Yeah, yeah. And, and a lot Fuck of you, the- Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the, I mean, a lot of the good stuff was in the trailer, not all of it, but a lot of it. And- then from there, it just seemed like they put more and more of the good stuff in the trailer, and it got to the point that you're really just going to the movie to watch the filler. <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> One Piece. Yeah. Um, I actually used to say that about, like, if, if a movie, if a trailer was, like, more than, like, three minutes, it was going to be a bad movie. They were, they were because they were putting loading a up. bunch of stuff in. Yeah, they're basically loading up the trailer to show you like, hey, look how great this movie is. Look how awesome this is. Like, it's so funny. Look at all these funny parts. Um, but if a trailer showed you a little bit and you were left like, what's going on here? That was a movie you needed to go see. But I definitely noticed how like these things, like now it just seems like they just dump all this stuff on you. There's no suspense. Like, oh, what does that thing look like? There's none of that anymore. It's It's just like... Here's the thing, because we need you to go see it. Uh, uh, and I'm trying to think of what there was something recently I was thinking about that I was like, why did they reveal that? Like, why didn't they keep that a secret? And then I realized, oh, it's because this was going to be shitty, and they needed people to buy it, so they need to see it ahead of time. Yeah. Um, it's just it just sucks. That's too bad. They tend to have a lot of trailers like that, and that bothers mm-hmm. me, especially comedies. Or mm-hmm. what passes as comedies. Yeah. Now. They put all the good jokes in the trailer, and then you get there, and you're like. Okay, there was nothing else funny in this movie. Yeah. Like American Society of Magical Negroes. Like, the funniest parts of the movie were in the trailer, and the trailer was not funny at all. I miss the days where they had, like, 30 seconds to impress us, and that's all they had. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, it's an art. Like, trailers trailers are an art. Uh, And, like, uh, in and of itself, I used used to do a a podcast, like, right when podcasts, like, started coming out. It was... uh, we used to review movie trailers and some of them were literally 
30 seconds long, 45 seconds. And mm-hmm. those sometimes were the best because you're like, what is this? You're like guessing what it could be about. Like, what did I just see? Like, what can we expect? What does yeah. that monster look like? You know, but now that's where all well, the hype was. Mm-hmm. Well, like the best trailer I ever remember seeing in a theater was um, The Watchmen. They had yeah. the, oh, they had God, the beginning is the end is the beginning by oh, Smashing yeah. Pumpkins playing. Yeah. It was one of the first ones that really used the musical beat to reveal the scenes because mm-hmm. now it's done in everything. But yep. the song it's was perfect Zach for Snyder. it. They showed, you know, just enough of the movie to be like, oh crap, they actually put it on screen. You yeah. know, it, that was a great trailer to me. Yep, Dude, that, that was, was we actually did one of those in that show run, and I remember that so vividly because it was one of the first things I picked up on was how well the music was was uh, was set to the the scene cuts. Yeah, uh, and the editing and, think, and the song was I perfect. That, mm-hmm. I think that's the only movie I've ever gone to for a midnight release for was Watchmen. Really? Oh man! Oh, dude, I was. Oh, I've so been stoked. to tons I of them. So st- yeah, I have. I've, I was so stoked for that movie. Yeah, I'm not much of a midnight movie. release person. A little too much. He's like, ah, fuck it, I'll see it. That's no, it really doesn't exist. The, they release them on Wednesdays last... at six o'clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no right. such thing as that anymore. No shit. Well, that's 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 the other thing is there's uh, you know, with all this digital stuff, you have you have so there's no like the midnight releases for things. Like I went and got Su- uh, Super Mario Wonder on midnight release, but it I'm almost sorry. felt like unnecessary. I like Super Mario Wonder. I think it's I know. Good. Fuck with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I love that game. Um, but like being there, it didn't feel like midnight releases f- from like the early 2000s. Yeah, where you're like, they you don't know? feel the same. It's like, you know, you used to be in, you used to be outside in the line waiting, anticipating, like, you know, with everybody else getting hyped and stuff like that, chatting it up with other uh, people you'll never talk to again in your life. And then like you get inside and you, you got like you know your receipt and everything. You go in, you get what you uh, what you were going in for and stuff like that. You come back out. People are like, "Yeah, you got it. Yeah, have fun, so on and so forth." Yep. You don't get that anymore. Now, I would midnight release is just like you know you just walk in. It's like a regular transaction. Well, that's a digital download that yeah. just goes live at midnight. Well, yeah. that and so I'd asked the guy because I didn't I didn't pre order it, but I was like, "Hey, man, like, is do you have any extra copies?" And he's like, "Scratch well, your neck at the same time." Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's man, like, I was, got a question. Well, he's like, I got plenty of copies, so just come and remind me Giggity. when you're here. And I was like, wow, that's kind of anticlimactic. Like, <laughs> you know, like which you know, like it was great that I got it, but you know, if you didn't reserve something ahead of time, you know, 10, 15 years ago, you're fucked. Like yeah. on a big release, like yeah. you couldn't get it. And now it's just like, no, I got 50 extra copies. Don't even worry. Like, this is totally unnecessary to do this anymore. Basically. That's because I used the to companies like... realized they were missing out on a whole bunch of money. Yeah. That's why. That's why they stopped doing that. And, like, I don't know about you guys, but, like, our local, our local like, Tronic store, like, they do, like, midnight release parties where, like, they'll open up the store from, like, 10 to midnight. Yeah. And they'll have, like, video game tournaments and, like, Super Mario. They used like, when, to do- like, Oh, man, I miss Yeah, those. like, when one of the new Marios was, co- there was, like, a new Nintendo game coming out. I don't know if it was one of the Pokemon ones or it was one of the Mario ones. But, yeah, they were doing, like, po- like Pokemon tournaments and, like, uh... Uh, Mario Kart tournaments and Super Smash Brothers tournaments. Dude, yeah, I was about to say they did the that when, um, yeah. when Smash Brothers, I think it was what, Smash 4, when that one hit like the, uh, the 3DS, they had the tournaments and stuff at uh, at the GameStop when I was in Atlanta. I was like, oh man, none of y'all beating me. I got my ass beat all the time. But um, <laughs> I still picked the game up. It was great. Oh, yeah. Well, I used yeah, to, I mean, I used to look at here. inventories in stores like Walmart and Costco when something was getting ready to release like a couple yeah. weeks early. And I would go in and uh, find the oldest woman working in whatever store it was who would have no idea about video games. And I would get them to try to break the street date. Like Rock Band. <laughs> you know, Costco <laughs> had Rock Band. And yeah. I knew it was in their inventory already. And I knew they had the boxes in the back. So it was like, <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, there's a game back there that I know you guys have Rock Band. Can you just go grab me one? And see if they would break, <laughs> see if they would break the street date on it just for fun. Oh, yeah, I gotta love it. Um, King says uh, a part of that is getting older. Some uh, seeing the adult issues the world is facing. I won't say we get jaded necessarily. Some do, but the the thrive leaves for a pack of cigs and sometimes Thrill. doesn't come you, back. You read just a, just a hair above uh, Jeremy. 
<laughs> what did I say? You said thrive, not the thrive. thrive. Oh, thrive. And, wow. And, you know, she's not wrong. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things I've been thinking about a lot lately in media and the things that we used to watch as a kid and then what comes out now and people freak out because their kids are going to see it. There's a lot of adult jokes that kids don't get that they used to sneak into the things we watched as kids and, and no one freaked out. Yeah. 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 But well, we also they used had. To slip them in as jokes. <laughs> now they're just yeah. blatant propaganda. Well, well I mean, that... I, I won't lie. There is obviously a lack of subtlety that is totally gone. Or we something. also had TV edits back then. Like Ghostbusters, the first hundred times I saw it was probably recorded from whatever night it premiered on TV and we recorded it on the VCR. Oh, you see, so I, I did half the crap that's in Ghostbusters, the original one, didn't know about it until late high school or college when you actually got your hands on the real version and were like, oh crap, that wasn't in the TV edit. Yeah, I, di I didn't get a lot of edited stuff. My parents just let me, w they would watch it first, obviously, but they'd let me watch the raw stuff. It's... Oh, we just recorded off of the TV when it finally premiered on the... You know, the world yeah. premiere on ABC or whatever. World premiere. Yeah. Well, we, I, yeah. I know I watched the full version of uh, Ghostbusters fairly long, young, but my mom also took me to see Blazing Saddles when I was like two or something. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I um, actually just watched uh, Mrs. Doubtfire again like two days ago, and that movie, is a, it that has a lot of like, mm -hmm. it's not a kid's movie. I mean... It is no. in some respect, but like there, there's definitely some very inappropriate moments in that, like that, or that people would say now, like, oh my God, how could they, what, like, why would they say that? Or that's, you know, like there, it's there's a, a whole kids movie, but it's, it's a movie also that covers a lot of deep and dark very deep, stuff yeah. that uh, adults yeah. get kind of squirmy about and because they do, they have a tendency to want to overprotect kids. But I'm I'm fully of the opinion that people way overprotect children in some ways. Not not yeah. always. There are some I definitely understand. Uh, yeah, but there are do. some things more along the lines of not making kids shows scary or not right. introducing certain things because the li their little angel might have a nightmare or some shit. I mean, I don't I don't think that's healthy. Yeah, I yeah. just think back in the day they used to be able to make the jokes in a subtle enough way that adults would get it and it would go over kids' heads. They yeah. don't have that ability anymore. I mean, even like this new, um, yes, it's being overreactive, but the new mm -hmm. Ghostbusters. I mean, the the original Ghostbusters wasn't necessarily made for kids. It was made for adults, no, and it had definitely. a lot of adult comedy in it. But most of the adult comedy, the adult stuff, would go over a kid's head. And then we get like, the newest one, and it's like, yes, let's talk about the sex dungeon. Yeah. Well, it's to a movie uh, aimed at tweens, it's, and it's, I know it's, tweens know all about it because we all know how <laughs> corrupted yeah, everybody's yeah. kids are at this point. But that wouldn't have been something that you know. My daughter just kind of looked at me like, "Yeah, that's uncomfortable, completely." <laughs> yeah. No, well, I wonder because, like, I'm uh, I'm rewatching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and go just going through it again. There are a lot of things that, like, you know they would see nowadays and it'd be labeled as something like sexist or like in a sense like it'd be like a, some misogyny or it'd be like you know wham and strong kind of thing but it it totally worked for what the story uh for what like the story they were telling it's it's it still holds up fucking I, I, it was there was one joke it had me dying again um where like cordelia um xander calls cordelia up to get a ride to buffy's house and then she's like um, like you, you can't, you just called me in the, like in the, on an afternoon or on a, um, on a weekend, a weekend morning. And like, you just expect a ride. Like, well, what do you think? I'm just some free ride. And Xander's like, well, that's just the, that's just the general boys locker room talk, but you don't pay any attention to that. Don't worry about it. And it was like, <laughs> I was like, that's pretty clever. I like yeah. that. Like you can't make those kind of jokes anymore because Xander would be labeled as like, you know, Oh, he's a uh, sexist. Or some shit like that, and I think it's stupid. Yep. It was fun back in the day. Yeah. Now, well, I think too the the other thing is is that w when people talk about stuff so much, it's different than when you have like something comes out in the '80s. Like people talk about it, but the the information and cr critique of it doesn't travel the way it does today. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, the more people talk about 
I haven't seen the Ghostbusters movie, but the ghost sex dungeon or whatever, like Mm -hmm. people are going to talk about that and talk about that and talk about that and be like, Oh, like, so now kids are going to know all this stuff in a way that people didn't like talk about that. in like in the past, I don't know. You guys kind of get one word of mouth and now it's just open up the internet. Right. Yeah. So, um, and that, that's why I say too, like the internet's ruined so many like people and so many things in life because it's, Information goes too fast and people pass judgments before they have like real time to think about yeah, it to process shit. Yeah. I'm not um, going to sit here and act like I'm not a victim to it. I mean, no, of course. Yeah. Like there, I've definitely, I've, there have been some things, especially in recent years. Where I'm just like, I'm not interested. Like I, I, I always got to use this as a, a reference. The super Mario brothers movie. I was like, yeah, I think it's going to do like some crazy ass amount of money. I don't want to see it. I'm not that interested. And I saw it and I was like, yeah, I got to get this shit on Blu-ray. I dropped it there. <laughs> Yeah, she dragged yeah. me there. She also dragged me <laughs> to uh, the first Dune movie. Which and, was good. Yeah, you liked it. I thought it was okay. You fell asleep. Yeah, I fell asleep because everything was boring up until the point where the king got um where the the king got attacked. I forgot his name. The Duke? Oscar Isaac's... Um, Duke. The, Duke. Yeah, the Duke. Yeah, the Duke. I mean, it, it was yeah. hard to sleep in that movie because about every 10 minutes it was just like, ah, la, 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 la. Oh, no, no. <laughs> this man can sleep through just about anything. I, you, you, I grew up in an urban area. I'm used to hearing gunshots and subway trains fly over my head. <laughs> no, he will totally fall. If you let him sit long enough, quietly enough, he will fall asleep. But and you have to almost hit him to wake him up. Almost. No, just almost. do it. Um, I, 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 interestingly enough, I, I've started like, I started like snap myself out of sleep whenever I start snoring. No, you don't. Yeah, when I start snoring. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You're going to tell me that I don't wake myself up when I go... <sighs> it may if not be when not you started snoring. Sleep enough, maybe. But trust yeah. me, you don't always. It's when no, you I, I didn't say it. I do it all the time. I said I just do it. Well, everybody does that. Oh, my God. Anyway. <laughs> also, um, while I was talking about... Hold that L, sheep. Hold that L. <laughs> And every it doesn't matter every single dub i get is just four l's put together but like on the topic Three. of uh no you're right yeah. four. on the topic of buffy um alison hannigan is 50 years old she looks like she just aged like past 17 still yeah she actually has a secret to vampirism because like it's not justin long it's not prince that nigga dead but like you gotta who else is out there that's like that looks uh, Pharrell? No, it's not Pharrell. It's it's her. Holy shit. Her? Yeah, Allison Hannigan. Oh, the girl that played Willow. Yeah. You know, one time yeah. a band cap girl. Oh yes. Yes. It's kind of fucking wild to me. Because like Somebody you look at the rest just... of the cast, like Sarah Michelle Geller looks like she aged. David Boreanaz looks like his father. He looks like the father of his version of uh of him playing Angel. Um. I'm forgetting the guy's name that plays Xander. That dude looks like hell. Holy shit. He doesn't even look like the same person. You know who else just hit a milestone? Rob Lowe just turned 60, and he looks exactly the same. Yeah, he's, yeah. Sure he's had a lot of work, though. Possibly. But he's looked, I mean, he's looked the same for yeah. 50 years. <laughs> Ernie Hudson as well. Ernie Hudson looks like he's still 30. Or just crowning past 40, at least. Yeah, and they're all, all the original Ghostbusters, they're all heading towards 80, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're all pretty Bill old. Murray looks it. Dan yeah, Aykroyd is looking it. Sam Raimi, oh, not Sam Raimi, holy shit. Harold Ramis. <laughs> Harold Ramis. How, Harold did. Ramis used to look like it. Yeah. He dead as hell now. We, Ernie. Is the reason he's the one that said black don't crack, and Allison Hannigan said, I agree. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, hold up. I gotta do research. Yeah, Ernie was pretty buff too. Mm-hmm. Still. Yeah, he still is. Black don't crack. <laughs> <laughs> wait, does he did Jesse go? Where'd you... He's in the chat. That's where he is. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um have you guys seen anything on the uh, the Ryan Reynolds movie If or No I, Imaginary Friend? It oh, looks like I it seen, could be an I interesting seen, yeah. like I seen a trailer, family yeah. movie. 
It's, it's adorable. Uh, yeah, it looks it looks like it'll be real good. Uh, Steve Carell does the voice of the main yeah, would, like character. Yeah. It's it's something that looks original. I would say uh, it'd be something Emily could watch. Yeah, is it scary? I mean it's a kids movie. It's no, no, it's about no? It, oh, okay. it's no. It, Ryan it's, Reynolds it's is an adult. He has um, I don't know if it's his niece or who who comes to visit him, but she can see his old imaginary friends that are still hanging around waiting for somebody else to be imaginary friends. Oh, interesting. That's yeah, it's, cool. It's, it's, and they're it's, voiced it's, by it's like cute. Steve Carell and a whole bunch of other, you know, major names. Yeah. And unfortunately Aquafina. But uh <laughs> yeah. and people give Aquafina far too much dis, uh, discredit. Like she did the the, the that role voice drives me freaking whatever nuts. the fucking what was the name of the damn pelican? Uh from the Earth yeah, Little, Little Mermaid. Mermaid. Yeah, like she did Scuttle that butt. huh? Scuttlebutt. Yeah, Scuttle. It, it's in the fucking name, uh, the song, too. Yeah. Like, like she did Scuttlebutt, and I'm like, all right, that's like her, that's her jokey Disney character. But she did great in Renfield. I didn't see uh, Shang-Chi. I don't, I don't feel like watching stock photo Asian guys uh, basically <laughs> sit in the back while everybody else does the work. Uh, but, like, uh, she, she's not the worst. She's I not the worst. Like, her, her voice, voice just drives me freaking Yeah, her nuts. voice does. It can great. Like, she sounds that's... like she's got the smoker's cough. But, <laughs> like, yeah, I, I wouldn't say she's bad at what she does. If you can get past her voice, sure. Yeah, you could then start looking can. at her acting. But I can't get past the voice. That's my thing. I mean, you know whose voice I can't... walked in Renfield? You, oh, my God. You know whose voice I can't get past is XQCs and Hassan. Because the way they read... And the way they speak, it's almost as if they don't know what letters are. It's like, it's like they their 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 form of reading is looking into a bowl of alphabets. Like they just they just pick letters and say them. That was an impressive pivot, by the way. I don't think I've ever seen someone heel turn like that. You you better sit down. You might get too dizzy. Who me? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know if Garrett's still here. Garrett, the fucking <laughs> the way you pivoted during um what was it the um. The normal world episode, you had Krigler on, you're talking about uh, Quiet on set. Like, this man's segues were so fucking smooth. It's almost like he ran the show by himself and Angela was just sitting there for no reason. Or just to be <laughs> eye candy. Like, the man, the man is good at what he does. Shout out to Garrett. I learned from him, probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Oh, man. Well, I think... Um... Successful night. I think we should do it. There's a couple of memes. I think we should look at some memes. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah? Yeah, memes. Meme it up. Fine by me. Hey, yeah. come back for memes, this guy. What's it? There we go. <laughs> oh, hey, look, there we are. Transition? Trans? Yeah, you forgot to trans us. Dong. Um, Jesse, I'll let you do it so I don't mess anything up in the studio. Yeah. Chat, 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 just crazy, it's crazy chat. <laughs> e. Clay Thompson, oh my God, the cock. Yeah, it's... Oh my God, the cock. I'm, I'm very much used to the Dick's Division version of that song. No, Charles, I'm not part of the oh Legion. Oh my God, the oh my God. But I think they were talking about like the rolling, like because in there you see like Adam and all the other, like a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I'm in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she pops up. She pops up around the same time as you see. Um, Devil made me do its old. Uh, avatar. Uh, avatar. Yeah, and it's my old avatar in there. Yeah, too. yours. Jimi Hendrix pops up around her. D Day Cobra. Yep. The hell are you guys talking about? Eric. The uh, Legion of Memes. It's just playing in my head again. Intro. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. What in the hell? Is that Grant? Uh, this is the way I picture Mr. Grant Gregor when he's not streaming or making AI content. <laughs> 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 that appears accurate. 
That's yep. very accurate. Uh, at one point in time, he had one popcorn bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That is great. Um, I don't I like know this. what made me think of this. <laughs> That's what's happening. I don't like the fact that they put me on the girl. Who do we got? That? Oh, God. Is that... It's Garrett. <laughs> Garrett. Is that you? Yeah. I thought yeah. that was Eric. There's epic. Is that Epic oh, Mike? And I then... think Epic Mike, yeah. And that's is that sheep on the right? No, that's Eric. Oh. The the, the facial oh, hair connects. Oh, the oh okay. I'm in the front. Okay, I see where I am. Oh yeah, and then the glasses. That makes that, more sense. That's supposed to be flawed in the bottom right. Yes, yeah, but that's I in think the so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> God, this, this meme just became the best meme on the internet. <laughs> you gotta tag all the relevant people oh, here. Oh shit, that's great. Yeah, I see. I'm a Raj. Sheep, you're on the right. The right. No, I'm a Raj. Rock. Oh, you're on Okay, yeah. I have no idea who that is. Holy shit. Holy Garrett's shit. got like the half snarl going. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that if I have it, it's like he's about to fuck somebody. It, it's it right around mama, the same time. Yeah. You know, good times and um and um Sanford and Son and whatnot. It was just one of the more not as right, spoken of ones. I just ones. don't know which one he's saying is here. Huh? I just don't know which one he's saying is here. The front. Front one, down in front. Flawed as mom. Epic Mike just yeah. looks like Epic Mike. Wearing... Epic Mike does look just like Epic, and Garrett really looks does. just like Eric. Uh, yeah, Garrett. he does. That's Ripa, great. Yeah, and Ripa's in the yeah. God damn! <laughs> like, I do us like yeah. this. It's just funny though. <laughs> that's fucking. That's fucking great. That is absolutely fucking great. At least I'm correcting. I might have to change my um my Twitter header. There you go. <laughs> oh, Bro, man. what is this? Oh lord. I think it translates to living on some ranch. Good grief. I thought it was going to be a Corey Feldman video. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's just so terrifying. It is. Why'd you and, do it? And my ear holes bleeding. Right. The the one holes. the one thing about the like the AI with my beard is it never works properly. Like it always like all those like filters and stuff, like it's gonna for, cut right at the chin. Yeah, yeah. It, it nothing yeah, it yeah. Or it's gonna cut at the chin of the model. Yeah. <laughs> Holy no, shit. No more. Uh, no, that's so loud. Sorry, I was just trying to get it off the screen. Um, yeah, speaking of no more, that's it. Unless you got some in the, unless you got some in your Discord. I didn't know none this week. Um, what? Light on the memes. What did we do? Were we were we on last week? No. That makes sense. We were. were we? Last week we were. No. Yeah, we had um. Uh, who was last week? Oh, that's right. We had uh, Dell on. Yeah, Della, Della Corners. Yeah, he was there. It was the week before. Yeah, yeah, yeah the week before Della was. Yeah. Uh, we had nobody on. Mm -hmm. um, it makes sense. Like it's been so long since he saw me. Yeah. Where's this yeah. episode? Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. Next week is our last one before Vegas. <sighs> yep. It's gonna be great. For one hundred. So what, what are we doing for Vegas? How are we doing this on Vegas? In Vegas? Salty. Salty nerd Where? podcast. So, Man. what time do you guys have the studio? I gotta, I gotta talk to Matt because he said we're good to go. Be... No, it's gonna be Thursday. Oh, okay, it's um, Thursday. Okay. Well, because originally I wasn't gonna get there until Wednesday, and then everything worked out better if I oh, got amazing. there Tuesday. So, um, gotcha. so we'll do Thursday. I can hear him. I'm, I'm on. And we did like last time we did it. Last time we did it the day after too on Thursday, and we I think we were there from like. Four to five or five to six, and then we went to Chrissy Mayer's show afterwards because she had a uh, a comedy show yeah, over this at time like there's a the second meetup. Yeah, this time there's a second meetup. So we figured do around the same time, like maybe four to five or three to four or something like that, and then head over there and kind of do the same same kind of thing. Uh, but you know, but again, does she have I, a show again this year? I don't think so. Um, I was. I kept no, she is super pregnant. pregnant. Yeah, yeah, Very she pregnant. Can't fly. I don't think she, she can fly, fly anymore. anymore. No, that's no, why she's she that's fly. why she's only doing that's why she's only doing gigs up in the northeast right now because she can drive to those. Hmm. 
Did a wolf just howl or something? What was that no, noise? That was my phone. Like, that was her phone. Oh. oh my god! I <laughs> thought I was like gonna die. It's like a it's common ringtone in Montana. Her. Like I've heard it on like forty different phones. Well, that one came with my um, the background thing I I put on my phone. Yeah, my shit just shakes. I just leave mine on vibrate all the time. I thought it was Gabriel's trumpet, and I was going to laugh at you all while I was uh, raptured. He was ready for the rapture. Uh, 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 Ramo, what's going to happen is it's going to go off, and both of you and all are just going to sit in here and look at each other and go, uh oh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I I, I mean, I wasn't as devout as the rest of y'all, so I'm just going to see Brahma get picked up. (laughs) Um, Oh, what's the name of that one movie? Um, Left Behind? Huh? Was it Left Behind? Left behind. That was the Rapture one. Yeah, based on the book series. No, not Left Behind. It was another movie. It was like it was a comedy. End it had, of the um, world. Huh? Not End of the World. Um. The Last Man on Earth. It wasn't that either. Hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna look at Apocalypse Now. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't think that's the type of movie he's thinking of. I know exactly who's in it Charlie too, the so Doctor it shouldn't be difficult to find it. Uh, okay, one flew of the cuckoo's nest. Uh, let's see. It was a Craig. Well, Craig Robinson was in it. He played. Uh, this is the end. Not this is the end. He played. Um, it was Rapture Palooza. The name. Uh, Rapture Palooza is the name of the movie. Rapture that shit's so fucking funny. Never heard of. It. It's it's a great movie. Like um, the main character. Um, his wife gets picked up in the Rapture. He doesn't. But his wife gets picked up. Then she gets sent back to Earth because she nagged God. Um, she nagged God to death. Not to death, but she carried right. God so much that he sent her back down because he got tired of hearing her. I'm tired of her bullshit, just like everybody yeah. else. <laughs> that was great. And like she's sitting there bitching at her husband, and then her father just gets uh, hit with a meteor, so she's like freaking out and this shit. <laughs> oh man, it's a great movie. Awesome. I rec- I recommend if out. anybody wants some funny, go check it out. Okay. Um, all right. Well, friends, what do we got going on? Uh, everything big going on this next week? Brahma, you want to start us off? Oh, I'm busy every night. Um, <laughs> actually, tomorrow I'm taking the night off and taking my youngest daughter to the Avalanche game versus the New York Rangers. So Aww. nice. Not going to be on Thursday. Night throwdown. Yeah, uh, she... I took her to a game earlier this year, and then suddenly she loves hockey. I've taken her to other games, but something clicked in her head. Like, she watches more hockey than I do. This is my home. I can tell you what clicked. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I, don't know which, I don't know which player it is. but uh, I did the same thing with the local hockey team here in town at about her age. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, then she's, I showed up like some 20-something years later. She's adopted the New York Rangers as her Eastern Conference team. So the fact Jesus that uh, we had, well, they've got this new guy, Matt Rempe. He's mm. six foot nine, and he gets into a fight every game he's in. I mean, he <laughs> only plays like, for like four minutes, and he beats the crap out of somebody and basically gets kicked out of the game. So she's, that sounds like the type. That's yeah. That's my kind of hockey. I don't want some like some gay ass like okay, you just get carded, go sit down kind of shit. No. <laughs> I, I, like, you take the glove, throw the gloves down, throw hands, and you go chill out for a bit. Get yep. back in the fucking game. I love that shit. He's been around for like two weeks, and he's already been suspended once. So, yes! um, <laughs> I love it. So that's her Eastern Conference team that she adopted. So we get to see our team, the Avs, play against uh, the Rangers. And uh, no, she's definitely Avs first, but the, uh-huh. the the Rangers out of the Eastern Conference because mm. they don't matter to us until the the playoffs so um friday night i've got us in an art uh we've been doing um well we <clears throat> review movies and that kind of stuff and then at the end of the show we've been doing music trivia and actually making little chad's making his own music trivia and then whoever's on the panel is playing the game so that's been kind of fun everybody's kind of like that from the chat because we let them try to guess all the songs and artists too um saturday is my show bourbon and boarding Sunday, I'm sure I'll be on two or three shows. Monday is on comics, and then Tuesday, party animals with horror and uh, the rest of the guys. So, yep, yeah. nice. And go check out the the Christian panel if you're so inclined on Carrie Smith's channel. We've got a few episodes on there now. So, mm-hmm. right it's been on. good. Yeah. 
Uh, Jesse, what do you got coming up? Uh, tomorrow, 11 a.m. for the morning prep, your daily dose of pop culture news and all things going on out there in the world. Trailer breakdowns, um, poster announcements, all of that kind of fun stuff. Um, tomorrow night, probably going to be playing some Hell Divers around 9 o'clock. Uh, maybe I can even con Quarter Black, drag Quarter Black Garrett into it um, as con. well. I'll be, <laughs> yeah, I'll just, I'll just, I'll, yeah, con him into it. I'll just abuse him with text messages and stuff like that over or Twitter DMs and stuff like that until he shows up. Um, we are still trying to raise money for Vegas, obviously. Um, we do have the t- t- flights booked, but also uh, <clears throat> one of the other fun and joyous things we found out last week is that we are going to have to move by May 31st. So in addition to paying for Vegas, we also need to need some extra funds to help move as well. So if you guys want to come hang out on $5 Fridays over on my daytime show, you actually get to control how long the show goes. Normally it's a two-hour show. But we've gone all, and normally it ends at like 1 o'clock. We've gone all the way up until 3.30 before and just come in. $5 donation gets the show to go another five minutes longer and just keep on going until you guys decide to stop giving me money. And then we eventually end the show. Um, uh, Friday night talk uh, will probably be comic shop talk. I'm sure we'll probably be going over the Transformers comic because that one just ended last week. Um, the, or the first, the first little section of this first run just ended last week. Um, Saturday night, we've got Skidamax Saturdays, and then Sundays, I've got 2 p.m. Bible study. We're currently going, finishing up the book of Samuel. Um, and then Sunday nights, Mr. Grant Gregory and uh, Serenity Two Witches join me um, to go through Wind Doctor, who was good. And we just started season three, so we just got introduced to a new companion. And uh, we're about to go into a great little two parter episode <clears throat> um, next week that just literally is an absolutely incredible two parter. Um, so yeah, so come check that out on Sundays and then Monday it's rinse and repeat the same schedule all over again. So yeah, come help me raise money for Vegas boys and girls and help me raise money to move. Cause this is my full-time job and I got five kids help a, help a poor uh, live video podcaster out. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Amarada, what do you got coming up this week? Uh, well, first there will be a new video releasing tomorrow. I haven't recorded it yet, so I can't tell you what it's about, but, uh, I will record it and it will release tomorrow morning. So do stop by the Abyssal Critic and subscribe and turn on notifications so you can see those. Uh, after, other than that, I have my regular streams. Uh, tomorrow night I will be reading more Lovecraft. We've just finished some long stories and the next few are short, so there will be a couple stories. Uh, but I generally read from about, for about two hours, from about 10 Mountain to about midnight. Friday is actually my... Um, community night for the month so if you are a youtube member please stop by uh i believe we're gonna play among us so that'll go from about six mountain six six mountain time to uh eight i generally just go about for two hours but if more people come and show up it will hang out longer you know that's that's how i'm not uh Yet yeah, no, not the abysmal critic. God yeah. damn it, Jerry. <laughs> Shout out to Dave Cobra. Uh, I love that man, but damn, can't read. Um, <laughs> He's kind of retarded. He's from Alabama. <laughs> he what do you expect? <laughs> yeah. It's a miracle he doesn't have I 11 I shows. I, I, not going to lie, I should have anticipated that. I do feel at this stage I should just accept the fact that my role in the fellowship is to give people things they can't say. Yeah. So. And, and move on from there. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, Saturday, we will be doing D and D. I believe we're going to start at five Mountain Time, and we'll probably go until about eight. Uh, Sunday will be um, no, no abyssal, abyssal. abyssal. No, you know what? Never mind. Yeah, um, like the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Abyssal. Is that because she sucks? Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, it was just too I easy. Mean, if I everybody who would know, you would. See it? There you go. I plead the fifth. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how when you leaned back in your chair, your avatar went, wee. Oh, I was actually turning my head. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so if I turn back far enough, it, it does, yeah. It does weird awesome. things. Um. Sunday, I probably Dude. won't be on any. I, if I do a stream, it'll be later because Easter. So I will be cooking everybody, you know, 
our Easter dinner and, and all that fun stuff. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure if I will stream on Sunday, uh, but I will be doing the Star Marauder Animal Show with my dear friend Star Sand, where I actually appear in human form, and we talk about human stuff and animal stuff and uh, just genuinely hang out and, and uh, bitch, really. So that's not my Not like Chink Uger. Oh. Uh, animal stuff. And human no, stuff, no, right? not, no, no, no. We are we are anti chink. Uh, and then of course on Tuesdays I I join Brahma to to uh, well typically hit people in the head and stuff. So mostly slender dad. Slender or imp. Uh, I have a tendency to go right for imp's head even when he's on my team. Yep. I feel but yeah, that. that's uh, that's what I got coming up. All right, sheep. What do you got, man? Rip reverse merch. Oh shit. Hot there. Um Rip reverse merch. Go ahead and get you get you some uh some pre orders in for your Yaira. That book's gonna be hitting uh doorsteps soon. Also we got the Rip Zine uh magazine that's gonna feature some articles in the theme of essentially um like rip reverse news. You know, I guess you could say um what's the word I'm looking for? Like through the eyes of like different characters and stuff like that. So you have articles where like you're getting these um, like these character personalities like Lillian or you get um, Michael Copper's um, take on different things. It's really good. There's also going to be um, a Salvage PI, a 13 page story written by Eric July in the book. So you'll also have some other stories as well as some previews from the previous um, the previous four books, I guess you could say so. You know, well, everything up to Yaira. Let's put it that way. Um, along with that, immediately after Yaira's uh, campaign ends, we're going to be starting Gooding. And after Gooding, we'll be Horsemen. And then we'll go ahead and roll into uh, Blood Ruth, which we're uh, seeing about getting that set up for Halloween. So, nice. you know, it's all on theme. It's looking good. No promises. Looking real clean. Yeah, that's why I, I, that's why I didn't say anything like you know specific. I just gave like general windows. That's I'm just saying whatever just, Eric I wasn't says. Criticizing confirmed. you, she I was just, just saying no promises. Blood Ruth will come out in October. She has confirmed that. I didn't <laughs> say that. I didn't say it will. See, here you go. That's not what I said. I said we're seeing about getting it set up for Halloween because people are suggesting it. Nonetheless, if not, if I'm not doing uh, like you know Ripper stuff. I'm drawing this manga and um, also playing Dragon's Dogma. And taking care of me. And, excuse me, and taking care of uh, Amarada because the fact that she references it almost every show means that it's officially a full time job. <laughs> it really is. I mean, that's all right. I'll get her back when she becomes a mom. Yeah. Go. Gotta get married first. Yep. Get on it, motherfucker. Tell her, but you need to pay her right now. Yeah, right now. I mean, right. get get yeah. married first. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. saying. No. Like, but then get Vegas, on it. Vegas is Vegas is in two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not looking for a fat Elvis that can also annoy oh, people. I'm good. Well, you can get the skinny the Elvis. You can, get an you can get an Asian Elvis. I didn't mm -mm. even have an Elvis in Vegas. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. If we ever had a ceremony, I said I already told her I was going to dress up as Spider from um. From um, Return of the Living Dead. I'm okay with this. And she's okay with it because she wants to be a zombie. I don't want to be a zombie, but you'd be okay with being. A, well, who would you be then? I don't know. Yeah. Obviously. The. the uh, I don't remember war. her name. You could be the zombie that that was uh, crying because they they eat brains because it it takes away from the pain. You know the zombie with no legs. Yes, I, I am aware. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or or you could be um forgetting her name. The one that gets eaten by all this uh the zombies. I am she's naked. I'm not doing that. Not not in the beginning. No, she's not in naked. In the beginning, she's, she, she has clothes on. But she takes them off fairly early in the movie. Anywho. Um <laughs> I should screen cap that. The yeah, the midweek on wedding planning edition. Right. I'm saying <laughs> he violated his NDA. Tell Eric. No, I didn't. Yep. We should call him Sheep Red Monroe. 
<laughs> Not getting <clears throat> cheap. Hmm? All right. <laughs> All the fuck right. Trash, yes, that's the, the one fuck? he was thinking of. <laughs> the fuck? That's Thanks, King. Have a great night, brother. Um, all right, and if you guys want to check me out tomorrow night, I have uh, Stuttering Craig joining me on the Ready, Set, Shag podcast right here on this channel starting at 8.30 uh, p.m. Mountain Time. It's 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Ask him if he bought Rooster Teeth back. <clears throat> I will ask him uh, for sure. Uh, it's it's going to be a fun interview. Sweet I love too. Craig. <clears throat> you, used to. you said Rooster Teeth. Yeah, I knew what you meant. Yeah. The, he started Screw Attack. And then screw attack. That's what it was. Yeah. No, it was Game attack. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's what's tomorrow. And then a couple interviews coming up. I think I have one. So this week we got stuttering Craig next week will be, uh, we got midweek hump as well as a interview. Uh, my second sit down with lofty pixels. And the week after that, we got Vegas. There's a lot of stuff happening. There'll be some stuff in between. Um, this Saturday I will be on, um, Mephisto movie reviews. We'll be talking about Lord of War. So if you want to see me on there, make sure you check in. Uh, Lord of War is one of my favorite movies. Of check all time. in anyway because Mephisto is great people. Yes. Yeah. It's Mephisto. yeah. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is like going. I'm also going to be looking over this AI thread that I just found, which is really scary. It's got like Obama and Lex Friedman like in perfect, like, I don't know. It's scary. Fidelity. AI. Yeah, AI is going places that I don't think people really want it to go. <laughs> um, anyways, that's it's been a great night. I want to thank everyone on the panel. Brahma, thank you for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you, sir. Um, Mr. Grant Gregory is not here. but I'm going to laugh he, he shows him. up during the credits. Right. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to laugh my ass off. Um, Jesse, Sheep, Amarada, thank you so much, always, as always, for coming and being here every week. It's always fun. Um, and to the chat, you guys are always awesome. We appreciate the continued support. I look forward to seeing a lot of you in Vegas. If we don't see you between now and then, uh, be sure to keep an eye on our tweets, uh, especially while we're there. Uh, we will be updating and we'll be around the strip. We'll be around Fremont. Uh, we want to meet you guys. We want to hang out uh, while we're all hanging out with the FNT guys. Um, but that's it for now. Check in. And we'll, uh, or I don't even know what to say. I'm out of here. We're out of here. See you later, everybody. Love you. Later.